to misbehave. Love you, Bella. Love this amazing family.
Hey guys, how are we? How are we? Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Let me go through say hi to everybody. Um, hi Darla, congrats on getting first. Hi Gabby. Hi Anangle. Hi Nana. Hi Sin. Thank you for the seven month resub. What the heck? What the heck? Let me know what color sticker you would like. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. Who else? Hi Sinead. Hi Gaming. Hi Adelina. Hi Gabby. How are we? How are we? Hi, Whitney. How's everyone doing? Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Did we have a good weekend? Um, you may hear some chewing in the background. Apollo's eating a bone at the moment, so we'll see. I did my sticker. I will do another one. It's totally fine, Sin. What color would you like? What color would you like? Uh, would you like the orange, pink, or yellow? Pink. Okay. And hi, Daenerys. How are you? You had a good weekend. Good, good, good. Uh, so what did we do this weekend? Tell me tell me all the things. I kind of had a bit of a, like a off-the-computer weekend. Um, and what little I was on the computer, I was playing Genshin. So, yeah. Yeah, so, um, still no Ayaka. I'm very upset. Very, very, very upset. But, I, I, I will get, I will get Ayaka before the end of, end of 2.6. I'm determined. And hi, Tommy Swirl, how are you? Uh, you finished your 100 Baby Challenge Friday. Nice, nice. Um, so, guys, we do have to talk about something. I figured it out we have less than three weeks until we're done with this challenge yeah so as sad as that is uh we are almost we are less than three weeks from being finished with the 100 baby challenge let that sink in We've been doing this since October, and we are f we are coming up to the end of it. Once we hit 90, we will be in the final, final stretch. Which we probably will hit 90 today. So, just something to keep in mind. Um, after this, we will probably take about a month, a month and a half off of 100 Baby. Um, and we'll be doing a lot more of the Elemental Legacy, and I think we may add in Not So Berry. Um, because we're about halfway through both of those challenges. And we've been doing Elemental Legacy for over a year at this point, so, uh, yeah. Who knew that a 10 generation Legacy challenge would take me, like, much longer than a 100 baby run? That's wild. I'm just gonna say, that's wild. Um, so we are going to do another 100 baby run after this one. Um, I just need a little bit of a break from Screaming Toddlers. Yeah, I just need a little bit of a break. That's it. Um, and then we'll do the same thing like we did with this one, where we are going to build all new homes, all new lots for it. Um, and we're going to really prep everything up for it. Um, in the next one, I will use mods and CC, um, cause we are going to do kind of what Taz did to where like you keep the aging on while they're pregnant, um, just to kind of spice things up a little bit more. And, um, we are going to do it to where the matriarch is going to be a spellcaster. So every generation, the matriarch will be a spellcaster. Um, with the intent of ending up with an ancient bloodline at the end. So, fingers crossed for that. Fingers massively crossed for that. Um, it's been, it has been a fun ride, Whitney. It has been a really fun ride. Uh, you got some gardening done this weekend. Planted some cabbage, carrots, onions, and beets. Ooh, what type of beets do you plant? Because I just learned, like, two or three months ago that there's different types of beets. Had no idea. Apparently, there's golden beets and red beets. I was like, okay. Had no clue. And hi, Steph. How are you? How is your day going? How was your weekend? 
All right, guys, make sure you're voting in the flavor of the day, gambling your points. You've got about a minute and a half left. Okay, okay. I need to pull that up. I I haven't pulled any of this up. Oh, you planted red beets. Ooh, okay. Okay. Okie doke. All right, let's see. Let's pull up the summary of it because I'm kind of curious to see where all of your minds have gone. Okay, okay. Okay, interesting, interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, let me think. There, I was going to tell you guys. I was going to go over. What was it? I was like, I even told my mom earlier. I was like, I'm going to tell them about this on stream. And now I can't remember it. Well, all right. Oh, uh, your weekend was decent. Your husband, you were getting over COVID. You feel much better now. Good, good, good. That's that's the best part of coming down with it is the end when you start getting over it and you start like feeling much, much better. So very glad to hear that stuff. Very, very glad to hear that. <laughs> all righty. It looks like the um, submissions for the uh, thing has closed. So are we ready to find out what the flavor of the day is today? Where did I put it? Oh, I put it right there. I was like, this is not it. All right, are we ready to find out flavor of the day? If we are, if we are, put a sip in it, chat. I am really pasty. What the heck? That's a bit better. I don't know. All right, put a sip in chat if you are ready to find out what the flavor of the day is. I need to get better about putting in the, um, putting it in the flavor of the day channel, but. All right, let me, flavor of the day. All right, so the flavor of the day today is. Dun, dun, dun. It's blue. It's breezeberry. It is breezeberry today. I felt like it was a blue kind of day. Uh, because it's cold. It's cold. My computer's telling me it's 59 and I don't agree. Unless it's dropped in temperature. Please tell me it hasn't dropped in temperature. I will be so sad. It did. Ew. Ew. Yeah, so hang on. What is what is 59 in Celsius? Fifty nine is fifteen Celsius. Yeah, that's cold. Yeah, that that's 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 like that's like freezing to me. I I do not do not approve. Um the good part is tomorrow it'll be 78. So there's that, but in the meantime, I'm just going to sit here and be super salty. Mhm. Mm it was absolutely disgusted with that temp I I am absolutely disgusted with that temperature. Mhm. Mm it's raining and cold. Ugh, Darl, I'm sorry. It's 90. Whitney, give me some of your warmth. I will I will take it all. I will take it all. Uh, you'll be in Louisiana on Friday and so excited. Oh, nice. Nice. It's 92 and barely 10 a.m. I, I would take that, though. I would take that, Brie, in a heartbeat. Uh, it's 47. Oh, Sin, you have my sympathies. Uh, you're supposed to get up to 95. See? Okay, but is it... What is your humidity, though? If you've got a low humidity, sign me up. I'm there. If you've got high humidity, you can keep that. You can keep that high humidity. 
Absolute. I thrive in dry heat. Are you happy? So he has been chewing on this no hide for three days now. Because I take it away every couple, after he's like chewed it for like two hours. Um, but he has been going ham on this one. I don't know, guys. Um, only 29. Oh, so you have the, okay, so Nana, you have the low humidity. Good, good, good. It's 63. Yeah, so to me, anything below 70 is freezing. I don't do anything below 70. I become hermit if it drops below 40. I mean, y'all have heard me in the winter. I complain nonstop about the cold. I complain nonstop. It just, it don't, it, it's cold and I don't mix. That's why we're eternal summer. Below 70 is freezing, Darla. Yes, yes it is. Uh, but granted, guys, I also spent a year in Central America. That will ruin you for anything cold unless you really, really, really love the cold. So, yeah. Uh, I did see it snowed in Colorado and I felt sorry for them. I did feel sorry for them, yes. Yes, I did. Um, and I spent, I actually spent a year in Arizona. I lived in Tucson. So that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Uh, so my dad was military. So we moved all over the place. And he was stationed in Panama for a year. Um, which is what kind of actually in a way inspired the cabana. So, yes. Yes, it, it's, I, I, lo I loved the heat there. I loved the everything about it. I want to live in Panama someday. I plan on getting an island because they do sell islands off the coast of, of Panama. However, they are like completely wild. Like there's no um, human touch to it at all. Like I, you would have to pay to get like sewer stuff set up, all that stuff. Um, electricity, anything like that, you would have to, like, spend buku bucks to get that set up. But it would be worth it. It would be so worth it. Uh, your St. Bernard chews is no hide the big, oh, the big one in 10 minutes? That's my parents' dog. She will chew a bone so much and so fast that it, you blink and it's gone. Um, something to look into, though, is there's a... I'll find out what type of cheese it is. Um, but there's a cheese that, um, crystallizes and that you can get that's made for dogs to chew. Apollo loves it. Um, their dog... My parents' dog loves it. She will... That's the only thing that will take her a while to chew. Um, she'll still go through it super fast, but, like, it takes her a while to chew it. Um, and the best part is the little pieces that they break off. You can melt those down into something else. And they'll, like, put them in the microwave and they'll melt them down. And then once they harden, like, they can chew them again. So, yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'll find out what they're called and post it in the Discord. Uh, you got rain in Texas yesterday and the temp went from the upper 90s to 60s overnight. That's what happened here, Pouty Lobster. We didn't get, it was like rain came in and then all of a sudden temperature went. Zoop, and I'm like, well, that's rude. I really needed the moisture. Had three fires on last Monday. Ooh, yeah. If there's fires, definitely bring the water in. Definitely, definitely. Um, that's so much better. Are they? Is that what it's called? Hold, hold on. Let me let me text mom because she's the one that gets it. What are the cheese stick thingies called? All right. When she replies, I'll let you know. I have no idea. I have no idea. But all right. Are we ready to hop into some bingo? Are we ready to get the week going with some bingo? Oh, let me put this in the Discord. The flavor of the day today for those that missed it. All right. I can tell I haven't been on the computer since Friday. Because just, yeah. I have so many things that are open that need to be closed. Oh, I didn't choose the, the outcome of it. Today's flavor is a breezeberry. Uh, let us see. Uh, Nana, 
Gambling 2000 got back 10,669 points. Very nice. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Um, but yeah, no, I just, I needed time away from the computer this weekend. I, I really just, I needed time to like de-stress the brain and just sort of, yeah, kind of just, kind of take a, some, a me weekend, which is really what this weekend was. So, yeah, Apollo and I got to spend some time together. It was fun. It was good. So, but we do need to get over to bingo. So, oh, slash if you've got your bingo cards. Uh, it was supposed to rain all week down in Florida, but that was a lie. It stormed yesterday. That's fair. Um, grateful for any rain you get. You're not due till August with your daughter. It's so hot and humid by that time. Yes. Um, I think late summer is probably the worst time to be in Florida um, because of humidity. Outside of that, it's tolerable humidity, but it's not like... Oh my god, I can't breathe humidity. Which, that's what I don't like. Although the humidity here bounces. It's weird. It's very weird. Um, but anyway. Alrighty. I did send Sam the bingo thing. So, um, hopefully whenever she gets a chance, she'll be able to, um, tell us what all of the, uh, fun names that she's come up with for them are. Um, the version that I sent her did not have any of the names attached to it. So I'm really interested to see what she comes up with. So, all right. Let's go ahead and get started with a bingo. And Sin, you are the chosen one. Good luck. Good luck. Let's see. I'm taking a quick look to see what good ones you have. Oh, there you go. Oh, you moved to Arizona when you're five months pregnant? Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't don't acclimate to a new climate when uh, your body's going through all the other stuff. Um, and so, no, we are not doing the other uh, bingo today. I Like I said, I took the weekend off, uh, so I did not get a chance to finalize things with the mods. Um, I plan on doing that today, so we should do it by when... We should be able to be back to it by Wednesday. So... All right, let's go ahead and get started with the bingo. What's the first one going to be? Neato Queen. Zapdos. Okay, okay. Magikarp. Scyther. Dragonite. Lapras, Gyarados, Primeape, Zubat, Kangaskhan. All right, give us a fun one. Nido King, that's not what I was talking about. Marowak, Electabuzz, or give us one in B. There we go. Ratatata. Magmar. Venusaur. Whoa! Hold up! Darla! Coming in with a bingo, like, almost immediately. Alright, guys. Was anyone close? Was anyone one away? If you were not one away, put a ban or a bop in chat. That was, oh my gosh, fast. Your G filled up really fast. That is fair. Um, oh yes, yeah, so she said they're the Himalayan or Yak Cheese Chews. There's different brands. Okay, so yeah, so they are the Himalayan ones. Nowhere close. Two away. G okay, well, congrats to Darla. Congrats. Let's go ahead and give you those points. What the heck? All right. All right. Do we want to do one more just because that was so fast? Do we, do we want to do one more? 
That was incredibly, incredibly, incredibly fast. So do we want to do one more? All right, I'm seeing yeses. So let me... All right, there we go. Go ahead and grab your bingo cards, guys, if you are looking on how to grab your bingo cards. There is the information on how to grab it. So if you are on mobile, it'll be the live bingo icon at the top right of your chat. If you are on the computer, hover over the video on the right side, right over there. It'll pop out, say live bingo. Click that, grab your bingo card. Um, you can get extra bingo cards. They are 200 bitties a piece, up to six additional cards. And it auto dobs for you. And all you have to do is click the bingo at the bottom. So go ahead, grab your bingo cards, and we'll see what we got. All right. Oh, yes, guys, and shells, shells are due next week, but I have not had a chance to start. So let me look and see. How many, how many of you have finished the shell? How many, how many people have finished the shell? Let's, let's do a, a, um, a roundup. So how many people have finished the shell? Do we think we'll have it finished by Monday? Is that good? Um, is there anybody that is still struggling to work on it? Because I am considering pushing it back a week. Yeah, I'm, I'm considering pushing it, it back to the 6th of when it would be due. So what do we think of that? What do we think of pushing the deadline back a week? Because I think I should have enough time to, um... To work on it then. I think. Um, and that's just because I've just had with no with the uh hi fearsome. Uh with with the boardwalk game, I just did not get a chance to work on it at all, and I really wanted to do this one. Um, so I'm thinking we might push it back a week. So I will let you guys know by tomorrow if we do that or not. Um, cause usually about this time is when I start doing all my reminders for it. So, all right, fearsome, quick, go grab a bingo card. We're doing a round two because, um, Darla's card decided to be super nice to her and gave her a bingo, like, before we could blink. So, we're, Darla, we're gonna see, can you do two in one? Can we do two in one? All right, so let's get going on the bingo. Uh, you can use more time on the shell. Yeah, I think we might. And Catherine, you are the chosen one. Good luck. Yes, yeah, Starla, agreed, agreed. That that was that was really really fast. So let's see if if it's gonna be nice to us again, or if it's gonna draw it out. So, our first one, Squirtle! Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy. Kabuto. Okay, the emo Wyatt. Oh, you think you got it on number 10? Nice. Nice, Darla. Ammonite. What the heck? We got a, an emo Wyatt and a Wyatt back-to-back? -back? I'm suspicious. Mew. Ratatata. Pidgey. Hollywag. Hitmonlee. Magnemite. Pikachu! Double seven. Scoozy. Because you know I don't automatically open that. 
Thank you for that 007. Hi, Purple. How are you? Geodude. Pincer. Arcanine. My weekend was good. I was saying how I kind of just like took a weekend away from like the computer and, and work and such. And um, what little I was on the computer, I played Genshin. Mm -hmm. Yep. Apollo and I got to spend some time together. He's over here happily chewing on a no hide bone at the moment. Ponyta or Emma. Feeling like a sack of potatoes. Oh no, I'm sorry. Aerodactyl. Tauros. Maybe we'll get the potato. Porygon. Vulpix. Ivysaur. Onyx. Snorlax, the mood Pokemon. I also have Twizzlers today. I'm very excited. Jolteon. And hi, Rachie. How are you? How is your day going? Scyther. Eevee. Lickitung. Drowsy. Machop. Chansey. Moltres. Ooh. K Vogel coming in, getting a bingo, and we got Bree coming in. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Oh, you found the strawberry cream saver star. Like, yes. Yes. They are amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right, guys, you know the rules. If you were one away, put a root in chat. If you were two or more away, you put a ban or a bop in chat. Because bingo is rude. Mm-hmm. All right, so it looks like we got a double win this time. Oh, wait, no, a triple win. <gasps> Electrify me sneaking in with a bingo when I was distracted. All right, all right. So we got a three-way bingo win. Okay, I see you guys. We're, we're banning the bingo? All right, that's fair. All right, so, Bree, let's add points for you. And then we've got, wait, no, I don't care about that. There we go. And then I've got uh, Electrify Me and K Vogel. All right, there we go. We've got them all. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Darla and me, Joy, are currently tied for number one for the month. At 50 points. Uh, followed by Kirsty in third place with 43 points. And then Anakin at 41. Toffee at 39. And that rounds out the top five. All right. All right. Kenzie is still number one overall with 141 points. Sam is right behind at 135 points. Followed by Gaming at 130 points. Uh, Jake has officially been bopped down to 10th of all time overall so and hi the tama how are you how is your day going you needed war turtle that's fair oh, you found them at cracker barrel oh nice i haven't been to cracker barrel in so long mom got cracker barrel a couple of weeks ago for us and i about cried in happiness it was amazing um and the strawberry cream ones are the only ones that i like and these are just the regular strawberry twizzlers nothing special i just like my twizzlers Yep. All right. I think we're good. The food was good. The cream savers are good. Yes. 100%. 100% they are good. Agreed. Um, now, one thing that I really loved about Cracker Barrel growing up was, and for the um, people in Europe and the UK, this is going to make no sense to you. Um, but anyone that's in the U.S. will should understand. So it's when you go in and you order the cream soda, like the orange cream soda, and it comes out in the big frosty mug, and then you just pour it into the frosty mug. 
Ah, oh, it's so it's amazing. I love it. And Latama, thank you for those biddies. It's very sweet of you. It's very, very sweet of you. Thank you for that. Um, you love their chicken fried chicken. Ooh, yes, that is good. Um, I am a sucker, though, for their chicken and dumplings. Mm -hmm. uh, you've never heard of Cracker Barrel, but here it's... You've ha never had it. Uh, Gabby, you really need to. So, Cracker Barrel is stereotypical southern cooking. That is what people think of when they think of Cracker Barrel. Mm -hmm. And the inside of the Cracker Barrels are kind of similar to time capsules in a way. Um, and I say that because um, inside they'll have a lot of like old farming equipment, um, posters, and like memorabilia from like the 1800s, early 1900s, stuff like that, that people have either saved or they've like made replicas of. Yeah, it's really cool. It is really, really, really cool inside. And then um, every single one of them has a huge brick fireplace, open fire fireplace that you can go sit in front of and you can play checkers in front of it. And it's a big checker. So it's not like, a li like the little tiny checkers. It's the big checkers, like the checkers are like this big. They're, like, really big. Um, another stereotypical thing is you can sit outside on rocking chairs. Uh, but you can buy all those rocking chairs. And depending on where in the country you are, um, there may be some sports-related ones. So you could go out there and find the local sports teams on it. It really just depends. Um, but, yes, no, they're, they're so good. So good. I, I love Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel is amazing. I could talk about Cracker Barrel all day, but we, we want to play Sims today, don't we? We want to hop on into Sims. So, the country fried steak too and sausage and gravy, yes. Yes, the... It's, it's all so good. It's all so good. Um, and then with every um, dinner platter that you get, uh, you can choose either biscuits or cornbread or both. I always go with both because I want one or two of each. But the best way to do it, guys, the best way to do it is go with a group of people, have half the group get the biscuits, half the group get the cornbread, and then share it. And then everybody gets some. It's great. Um, they also serve breakfast all day. That is true. They do. They do. And their breakfast is amazing. Amazing. Oh, Gabby, I, I had a snack earlier and I'm st I'm still hungry and I'm, I'm salivating at the idea of it. It's not a good thing. Not a good thing. Uh, you have a copycat of the hash brown casserole. Ooh, that's always good. I don't think I've ever had their hash brown casserole. I probably should. Eh. All right, so hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, was mom pregnant? Mom is pregnant, so we have to kick Copper out. No, we're not going to kick Copper out. We're going to make sure we get we get a single birth. Unless we can get Kida. Yeah. This is going to be interesting, guys. This is going to be really interesting. Uh, you might not like it because it's cooked onion and tons of cheese in it. I would still try it. I'm just not a big fan of onions. But, like, I'll have onions if it's in a certain amount of, like, small dose of it. So. Um, so much food no matter what you order. Oh, 100%. But that's how they eat in the South, guys. Like, there's, they make sure you eat. If you are ever concerned about eating, don't go to the South. Because the South will try to fatten you up. The, it, their motto is, if you can breathe, you haven't eaten enough. And they will make sure that you eat. And not just anything. They'll make sure you eat the good food. But that's just, that's just part of being in the South. That That's just part of it. So, yeah, it's, it's great, though. Always great. You never go hungry at a Cracker Barrel. Very true. Very true. All right. So, we're taking a quick look. This is Copper. Uh, Copper needs to sleep, eat, and pee. Are we surprised? No, we are not. But you're a high school B student, so chances are you'll be ready to go. Akita. Okay, that's a swimsuit. Why are you in a swimsuit? Alright, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. 
You need to finish your homework. Are you at a... And your skills are good. Okay, so she just needs to finish her homework, sleep, and do a project. And she'll be good. I don't know what her bed is. That's her bed. Okay, then we have Milo. Who this is Milo. This is Milo right here. So Milo needs everything. You haven't started your homework, so start your homework. And then... Double seven. Excuse me. Thank you for that. Are you happy? You're tired now, aren't you? Yeah. He says he says he's he's happy but tired. Mm -hmm. And suit of bees, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, chair, and get comfy. Uh, the drink of the day is breezeberry. It is blue. So, yes. Um, let's see. Miss Piggy. Are you desperately... No, you don't need to sleep. You need to get your skills up first. So do that good... Oh, wait. No, you already did your homework. Nice, nice. All right, so then she just needs to get her mental skill up. All right, that's that's fair. That can be arranged. That can be arranged. Play. And then Perry, the platypus. Uh, food and thinking, movement, communication. Oh, we're good on that. We're good on that. Um, so yeah, so we are not doing the, um, Hunter Baby Bingo today. I did not get a chance to verify a couple things with the mods since I took the weekend off, but we will be back to it on Wednesday. So yes, we, we will be back to it on Wednesday. All right. And then we have Olaf, who I think is pretty good to go. Okay. So we have Ariana. What do you need? Do you really need to... Are you eating? She's already eating. Okay, okay. So she can just do that, and then I'm going to put her to sleep after superficient baby carrying the baby. Yeah, okay. You didn't even finish that. You know what? Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Um, but we were, we did talk about it at the beginning of stream, guys. We are less than three weeks from finishing this. Which is mind-boggling. We are, we are less than three weeks from finishing this. And thank you for the lurk purple. Yes, guys, please make sure you're getting all your, your school stuff, all your school and work stuff done. <gasps> no! We just lost Eloise, guys. That's not a good way to start the stream off. I didn't want to lose that uh, her so fast. What the heck? So the next one to go will be Penelope from Bridgerton. Yeah, get get the rips in chat. That's very sad. That is very sad. How is there a heat wave in the middle of the night? I don't get that. Whatever. I don't get that. Oh, she did buy a ticket for that. Can you buy a ticket for the lottery? No, from being a teen. Okay. All right. Great, Miss Piggy. Um... Come here and play a game inside. Because Milo can't do that yet, can he? No, Milo can't. So Milo will have to go outside in the thunderstorm. Sorry, Milo. Actually, I'm not very sorry. It is what it is. We just need these kids to get to certain skill levels. That's it. That's it. All right, go slide a bit before you go to sleep. 
Yeah, go go slide a bit. There we go. All right. Mental level two. Do I keep him out there? I think I'll keep him out there for a while. That way they don't talk to each other and, and distract each other. Um, it's thunderstorming. Th it thun th thunderstorming there too. I hope it passes quickly, like in The Sims. Thunderstorms pass really, really quickly though in The Sims. Um, but yeah. So after this, after this version of the challenge is over, um, we will, we will be wor start working on um version four of it. Um, version. Four of the 100 Baby Challenge will be a Spellcaster one. Um, but I will probably take about a month off in order to just kind of give my ears a break from constant crying toddlers. Um, but after that, then, yeah, we'll definitely, we'll definitely have another 100 Baby Challenge started. So if you like the 100 Baby Challenge, don't stress. We'll, we'll still, we'll have a 100 Baby Challenge going. Uh, we're just going to take a little bit of a break from it. Now is, I saw it strike something here. Did it not give me so anything? Rip off. Rip off. It didn't give me anything. But I wanted something. Fine. Fine. It's only 63 to get three today, but three days ago it was 93. Yeah, it's 61 and I'm upset. I am upset. I am not a fan at all. Now you're hungry. Of course you are. Now you are. Go finish this. Go eat your asado. All right, let's take a quick inventory. It is Thursday morning. Did you get your skill up? You have a fitness skill. Okay, good. And did you do all your homework? You didn't do your extra credit work. Um, no, he shouldn't have to do a project. Okay. Kida is going to need a project. She has not done her extra credit work, so wake up and do your extra credit work. Oh, wait, there's her project right there. We did put one down already. Good. So, come here and start working carefully. Milo. Okay, so both of them are working on that. They're also very tired. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. And how are you on movement? Uh, you could you could be fine. But go potty and go to sleep. All right, and break. Um, you love 100 babies so much. You've learned a ton, really. Really? Well, that's good to hear, Whitney. I I love passing on like tips and tricks on how to make your life easier with it. Um, because a lot of people stop after the first time of doing the 100 baby challenge. So the part that I find the most fun is finding new ways to get things as efficient as possible. So you don't have to think about it. You can just like sort of explore other sides. So yeah. Um, you mean you like it colder, but your body's like, what the heck is going on? I know, right? I don't like it. And then tomorrow is supposed to be 78. So we'll see. We will see. Uh, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I am going to let you get some sleep. Yeah, I am going to let both of you get some sleep. Yep, that works. That works. And then mom will have to come help with this project. Which is fine. It's fine. You're taking a long time to do your homework. All right. Uh, you never finished Hunter Baby? Fearsome, you need to. It It's so 
like once you move that last child out, it's so bittersweet, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know, you feel amazing. It's amazing. Um, yes, and yes, there is that. There's also, we have the, um, buttered popcorn, so it never, it never goes bad. Um, so in the instance we don't have any food, um, the toddlers can get something out of the buttered popcorn. So, all right. I know you're wanting to do that, but I need you to come assist with the project. Because, yeah, these, these kids are going to have to go to school shortly. And she needs help. All right. Copper should be able to age out, like, soon. And Kida, as long as she gets help, she should be good. Actually, I wonder, can you come assist with the project, too? We're going to test this. Rocket science level 7? How does she have rocket science so high? I didn't even realize she had that high of a level of rocket science. Ah, okay. Good to know. Good to know. All right, let's see if we can get with three of them working on it. Let's see if we can get it going faster. Oh, she chose to not, she chose to eat over sleep. I don't blame you. I don't blame you one bit. I would too. I would definitely do that too. All right, no talkie. Just project. Be yelled at by Kida. No, if you're going to get yelled at, go to school. Go to school. She's too busy talking to be working on her project. Oh, wait. No, they finished it. Oh, dang. Okay. Okay. I don't know how well, like, how that's going to work for them. But... That was some good family bonding. Okay. Come on, Kita. Thank you. And superficial baby care. There we go. Uh, did she complete the nerd brain aspiration? Um, mom? I don't... I don't know. No, she didn't even really start. I mean, she kind of did, but not really. I guess we're just going to have you read three books, maybe? We'll just do that really quick. I don't know why I have so many versions of this in here. But all right. We'll just have her read the books just to complete that. For aspiration points, I guess. She hasn't had time to read a book. Because then she gets the instant upgrade. Oh, that's right. They do get instant upgrade. We should have done that a long time ago. Yeah, we should have done that a long time ago. But this will at least give her... Um, some satisfaction points. So there's that. Oh, uh, you've been playing a lot more cozy games lately. Sims is stressful. Sims can be stressful. Yes. Um, you think working on the rocket project? Uh, yes. So with the school project, if they do the kids version, it only gets them up to like one and a half, two. And we didn't win. All right. We tried. Um, but, so, there's a reason why the school projects say for kids slash for teens. 
Um, because if you have a teen do a kid one, they're not going to get as much extra credit out of it. It's basically just going to be a small skill boost. It's not going to help them really in school. It's almost Olaf's birthday. Now I'm going to panic. All right, Perry, wake up, please. Um, yes, so you can get the, the game, you can get the packs from a variety of different places. Um, I would just verify, if you're getting it through somewhere like eBay, I would verify first that they're an authorized seller of it. Um, because I know EA does crack down on stuff like that. So just make sure you're buying your packs from an authorized, um, reseller. Um, but I know there's places like CD Keys. Um, if you would like, I do have a affiliate link in the Discord for CD Keys. I know quite a few people buy stuff, buy games off CD Keys. That's where I got all my Dead by Daylight ones. Lot, lot of good places to get to get uh, cheaper versions of the games. Yes. Just make sure you're, you're, you are sure of what you're downloading before you download it. And that's how you avoid getting like viruses and such. But yeah, no, that's a good tip, Shayla. It's a very good tip. All right, Perry, once you are done. Once you're done, I'm going to have you go potty a bit. Yeah. We'll max out the potty skill. And then it's just communication. And that should be it. I th And then thinking, which we can just get mom for. Okay, so you finished a book. So read. Okay, we got a B student. Milo's a B student. Read the glutton spiel. Ah! Miss Piggy is not, but Copper is, and Kita is. Okay, Copper, come here. Mwahahaha. All right, blow out your candles, Copper. Yes, so you are an A student, so come here. Let's sell these. Okay, bye. Age copper up. Yes, she is pregnant. She is pregnant. Mm -hmm. And and that is that is true. That is true, fearsome. Um, if you're not gonna play it, like definitely second guess before you invest the money in it. Totally fair. Totally fair. All right. So uh, copper is. Hang on. Let me make sure that I did, <laughs> and that I did uh, unpause everything for you guys, because sometimes I forget. All right, it should be there. All right, so he is an active genius who is also a neat. All right. Do you guys like neat? If we like neat, then I will go ahead and lock it in in five. Four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we will go with neat. You were waiting on that fearsome, weren't you? You were waiting on that. Yep, you, you were waiting on that. All right, blow that, do that, so you can come blow the candles out. Blow the candles out for you. I'm just going to go send you to go do something fun for the moment. I don't care what it is. That works. All right, so unfortunately, Miss Piggy did not get her grades up. So both Milo and Miss Piggy, as they are twins have to be aged up at the same time. So they're going to be kids over the weekend. That's going to be brutal. Because the highest that they can go is Miss Piggy to a B student tomorrow. 
Whereas Kita, technically, we could kick her out and get it down to one, two, three, four, plus the baby. Technically. All right, so Kita is evil and a foodie. All right, do we like foodie? Twelve. Popularity, so two, four, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Party animal. All right, do we like foodie for Kita? If we like foodie for Kita, then I will lock it in in five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we will lock it in. All right, so foodie for Kida. She kind of does look like her. So I I like this outfit feel, but I think we need to change it to blue. So. Uh, yeah, I think we need to change that to blue. So let's change her outfit colors to blue. Oh, and you poor kids need to go to bed. Of course you do. Wait, you're on your bed. Whose bed is who? Oh, Milo, there we go. And assign that bed to you. All right. Perfect. I know, she took mom's look, she did. All right, fine. Um, Change them in the mirror. I know you can do that in the mirror. Thank you. All right. All right, let's change. We're going to keep the we're going to keep the outfit. We're just going to change the colors of it. Oh, uh, what kind of shoes? I kind of like these shoes for that. Yeah, I kind of like this for that. Yeah, this kind of looks like her. Um, thanks for being a CD keys. You know, idea about it. Um, yeah. So if you go in the Discord, which I'll pop the Discord link there. If you go in the Discord, um, under the welcome section, there is the um. Once you react to the rules, there is the uh, Bella and Apollo section. Um, at the bottom of the Bell and Apollo section are all of my um, referral links for all of the places that I have um, affiliate uh, accounts with. So yeah, you can definitely look through there. I have quite a few different places um, that I have affiliate links with. So, all right. I think I like this for her. I'm not sure about the hairstyle. You know what? No, we'll let her keep her hairstyle. We'll let her keep her hairstyle. But that kind of gives more of a Kita vibe than anything else. The skirt for sure is. The skirt 100% is. Is there another tank top that's got like a pattern to it? I kind of like this. Oh, I kind of really like this on her, guys. That or I would go with like this. No. It'd be that or something like this. No, 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 no. I like this. I like this. I uh, definitely like this. Yeah. I like this. Um, sometimes, sometimes it is. Sometimes Origin is cheaper than that. 
Um, this is from the carnival stuff pack. Or carnival kit, I should say. Well, I would... Because I thought maybe, like... This wouldn't be as long as it was, and then like then there's this option, but that's kind of boring. That's even worse. So we're going with this. Yeah, we're go we're going with this. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're going with this. And then Miss Piggy has her hair back in pigtails for now. So, yeah. All right. Yes, and thank you for redeeming Tiara time. All right. Um, why is she partially purple? Yeah, it's because her mom was Ursula. So, um, she is our first and so far only mermaid. All right. Um, what's the most babies any one sim has had in our in our challenge? Um, the most we've had is triplets. Um, going forward, I may make it to where they can have like I may expand that amount. Um, but we kept it to the EA default, which was the three. Uh, we have not had triplets since. Set one. We have not had triplets in set one. So, yeah, you guys only have... You only have... I think it's like a le... 10 or 11, something like that. You only have like... a cert You only have a small amount of, of space left to get triplets. So, yeah. Yeah, you, you only have you only have a small amount left for triplets. Okie doke. Since she is... Yeah, she just got into her next trimester. So, we are going to go ahead and kick Copper out. Oh, uh, let's see. Do you know? No, you don't know your sister. You will now. But you don't know now. You don't know him at the moment. No, her at the moment. All right, go move in with Kiara. Thank you. Goodbye, Copper. Goodbye. So let me see, Kida. What do you need to do? In the interest of getting out fast, dream big. Four, five, and six, and then. Then go do your homework. Okay. So Milo is asleep. Miss Piggy is asleep. And Perry is almost done with potty. All right. Prepares the hashtag T R I P L E T S Juju for when Bella will not be on guard and will leave the room in the household. Uh, no, 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 no. We are not. No, that would be bad. That would be bad. I mean, there has been a couple times where we left the room, left room for it, and it hasn't like negatively hurt us. But you never know. How much food is left? Four. Uh, come here and grill some chimmy. Cool. Put that away, please. Perfect. You've reached level three. You don't need to do any more.
All right. Um, cook a regular garden salad for yourself. Yeah, I think that'll work. I think that'll work. Um, and I'll have to get back to you on that, Darla. I'm not for sure. I need to go back and check my notes. All right, let's see. Okay, you finished the book, Ariana. Put the book away. You've got a crying baby. Desperately needs attention. I get it. I get it. Uh, maybe two more potties? Three more potties. Just basically just long enough until mom eats. And then we'll have mom teach shapes. To get that attention up. Because when does the baby age... Oh, the baby eats tomorrow. Okay, we still have plenty of time. Plenty of time. No, Chip. No, no, no. Did you eat? You didn't eat at all. Wait. D... Ariana, you leave the chimney outside in the rain? What is wrong with you? I didn't raise you in a barn. I raised you in four now very nice houses. I cannot with these kids. All right, are you almost done? Are you level? Thank you, level three. Um, and yes, that's the, um, teach shapes of Perry. There we go. Um, I had written down in my notebook, which I don't have at me, uh, with me, if the Muppets were considered animals or not. So that's, that's why I'm not sure. I, I don't know. Cause I wrote, I wrote it down. Um, but I have not read the notebook in a hot minute to double check on my notes. So yeah, I'll have to figure that out. A barn, 100 Baby Country Edition? <gasps> Fearsome! <laughs> that could be... That could be a lot of fun. That could be a lot of fun. All right, hold on. We're going to do a poll. All right, vote in the poll. Would you want us to do a 100 Baby Challenge Country Edition where we're in Henford on Bagley? We can still do the spellcaster part of it, um, but they would live on a farm for the whole time. And they would just move from farm place to farm, like farm to farm as like we, we got another um, matriarch. And they would have uh, their cows and such. What do you guys think of that? I don't think I've seen anybody do that yet. Because doing just a spellcaster one, that's fine and dandy and all. But apart from like learning all the spells and making the potions. We would have to. To come up with like whole storylines and such. Uh, teach shapes to Perry. No, no talkie. No talkie. If you're gonna do that, you need to come up here and go to sleep. Thank you. 
If you wanted to make it harder, you could set the cooking to only use the ingredients you have. Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, oh, in purple, if you go to, um... If you go to under the welcome section, it'll there's a section that says Bella and Apollo. Um, when you first click on that, it'll you'll see the picture of me and Apollo that was drawn by Stacy. And um, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of that one, um, you'll see my social links as well as affiliate links. Um, it's about halfway down in that section. We could even do our version of the burrow. <gasps> We could, Fearsome, we could. Okay, okay, yeah, I like this. I like this. And we would definitely, so, okay, okay, so, so new plan, guys, new plan. Thank you, Saribot. New plan, guys, new plan. All right, I'm setting y'all on a mission. I'm setting y'all on a mission. Find me. And Shayla Capri, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, share, and get comfy. Find me. I so if you find any sort of country CC, does not have to be functional, can be just a core. Go ahead and put it in the Discord. Yes, because then we would have crops and such stuff like that. Yes, 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 yes. I like this. Yes, I like this. Because it started off as a Harry Potter hunter baby that we were going to do next. And then I was like, but while that's fun, and yes, we can choose names from the Harry Potter universe for the kids. Um, that doesn't add as much to the gameplay. But if we add in the country one, the country aspect of it, that adds gameplay and that adds dimension to it. Yes, I like this. I like this. I absolutely love this. All right, super efficient baby care when you're done. Are you getting your attention up slightly? We'll go to sleep when you're done. Miss Piggy, you can play video games inside. Oh my gosh, these kids. All right, play arithmetic attack. Take a shower, come get food. And then I'm gonna have you come play video games. All right, what does Kita need? After she sleeps, what what does she need to do? Finish her homework. Okay, I think I think we're good now. Cause no one's doing projects or just doing homework. And then we can kick Kita out, fingers crossed. Okay. Um, for that, Gabby, I think don't know I'll I'll still I'll have to figure out more on it um but I do like the idea of like living in the country type thing um yeah we'll, we'll have to see we'll have to see uh but we have plenty of time to to iron out all the details of it so yeah now that I kind of have an idea of what path I want to go down with it um it'll be easier for me to, to plan everything out for it so yeah, we'll have to we'll have to build the farms and that sort of stuff. So it should, it should be fun. It should be fun. You're making chicken and fries and you didn't send me any. Wyatt. Excuse me. And the any key, welcome on in. Welcome on in. How are you? How was your stream? What'd you get up to? Tell me all the things. We are essentially waiting for school to start. Mm-hmm. Yep, we're just waiting on school to start. All right, go away, Apollo. Thank you. Not my Apollo. My Apollo is good. Mm-hmm. Uh, you had a great stream. We're playing a legacy challenge. Nice, nice. And Pokemon in Fart Wobbler. Yes, we are at, uh, is it? It's 88. Yes, we are at 88 babies that count for the challenge. 
Yeah, 88 babies that count for the challenge. Um, we've had a total of 89, but only 88 are counting. So, hopefully we'll have two more kids today, which will bump us to 90. Uh, because the last 100 baby run ended at part 65, I believe. So, it'd be kind of cool for this run to end at part 65 as well. Um, I don't think that'll happen, though. I think we're going to have a lot more than that. Not by, like, much more, but I think we'll have at least a can full more. So... Yeah, and then the next one, we were just discussing it, um, we'll be do it'll be, I think it'll be a country spellcaster. So, um, Fiesta made a good point where we could do a, um, a burrow, like, the Weasley's burrow type thing. That could be fun. And hi, Allie, how are you? How's your day going? All right, are you two done? Are you, are you two getting close to getting your skills? You're nowhere near. Wait, you haven't even started your homework yet? A child, go do your homework. Go do your homework. What the heck? Wake up and, and, and fix your needs and do your homework, all that stuff. What the? Children, why? Um. And so, yeah, so the Extreme Edition means I need to update the rules on that a little bit. Um, cause we've made them a little bit more harsh. Um, but so we are having all 100 babies with one matriarch. Um, it originally was going to be before she ages up to an elder. Now it is, um, before she ages up to a adult. Um, let's see. That's, uh, every 25 kids, we move to a brand new lot in a brand new world. Um, after we purchase the house, we reset all funds to zero, and, um, you have to, if, so if you choose to free real estate your, um, first house, then you have to be able to afford any future homes out of pocket. Um, if you choose to, uh, start with the 20 K and, um, build a house with that, then anything you sell your house for is equity that goes into your pocket. Um, and then let's see. Every time you move, the method of earning money changes to something new. And, um, I think that was all the, like, the big changes we made. Yeah, those are all the big changes. So, yeah, we, we've done this, um, it, if you go on the VODs channel, um, I have all of them up through set two uploaded. I need to work on getting them up, uploaded, the rest of them. So, yeah. It'll take a little bit of time. It'll take a little bit of time for me to get them all uploaded, but I definitely will. I definitely will. I think that'll be my main priority. So, let me top that, pop that in there. All right, there we go. Did you finish your homework? You did not. Why did you not finish your homework? Go finish your homework. You don't get to play until you do your homework. Oh my gosh, Kita, I know you're evil. I know you're evil, but finish your homework, please. Even evil must do homework. I am sorry. Thank you. That was not complicated. Now you can go have fun. Now you can go play a game. And you haven't started your homework either. What is this? Children. Why Why are my children not doing homework? I, I don't get it with these children. I do not understand these children. Uh, Superficient baby care the baby. How's our toddler doing? Is our toddler... Our toddler needs food. Oh, yeah. All right, take a shower so I make sure you get out of my toddler's bubble.
Wait, why are you? Oh my gosh, these children. Why are you going outside when you have to pee? I don't understand why you're going outside when you have to pee. This makes no sense, guys. This makes zero sense. And you didn't even do your extra credit work. Go do- <sighs> eh, guys. I- I cannot. And you- all of you have to go to school soon. I told you to stop playing the game. Oh my gosh, these children. This is what happens when you try to kick a kid out early. Mm hmm it, it all goes it all goes down the tubes no talkie to the children all right clean up those you need to potty go potty and then I'm gonna have you come babble to this yeah okay yeah, just babble away. Okay, thanks. And we'll wait until the kids go to school to get the child ready to go. 100% fearsome. 100%. I decide I'm going to kick them out early. The Sims is like, bet. And I'm like, you suck. Yeah. So, no game for you before school. No game for any of you guys before school. Alright, Miss Piggy, I'm going to send you downstairs, actually. You're going to go here. Yeah, you're going to come down here. This one's going to continue to babble away. All right. Who's almost done with their homework next? Um. Neither of them are going to finish before school. But that's okay. Because as soon as they finish, they'll both go to school. All right. Kita, for all her evilness, did complete her extra credit. Do not talk to your mother. Oh my god. Ariana. Leave him alone. Go to school, the both of you. Thank you. Alright, guys. So, this is why Sims is a pain in my patootie. All right, they're now off at school. Anything else that happens is out of our control. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. All right, then teach shapes to Perry. Until she comes down, you're going to babble away. Why is why is trying to get kids off to school stressful? Is this stressful for like in normal life or or what? I I do not understand. Um no talkie before coffee. You made the mistake today. It was sad and depressing still on the struggle bus. Yeah, I can see it. Ask for bath. No. You're going to come back over here. Where are you sitting? I'm trying to get her to teach shapes to this child. I know you need a bath. Please just, just teach, just teach shapes. That's all I need is for you to teach shapes. Not a bath, not anything else, just shapes. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. 
I'm literally begging you at this point. Come on, we can do it. Thank you for the Lurk Cave Vogel. Yes, we do need to pre-romance the dad. Oh, gosh. We need to pre-romance the dad. All right, so we have... So it's 11. Six hours from that is 5 p.m. So we need to romance the dad by 3 p.m. Saturday. Which means we need to get this toddler aged up tonight. Well, this is going to be fun. It's so stressful to leave the house with kids. It is, Gabby. It is. Oh, my gosh. All right, guys. Make sure that you are stretching, doing any sort of posture checks or anything like that. Uh, no, I don't need a job. Thank you, though. And, yes, Fearsome, I, d I did see your drink. I just didn't get to it yet. All right. Did we get him to level two? That's the most important thing. Did we get to level two? We did. Oh, thank God. Okay. Yeah, I hadn't opened it yet. How long have I... I've been live for an hour and a half and I just opened my drink. That's really sad. All right. Thank you for the mail. All right. Okay. Give me a, just one hot second, guys. I do need to do eye drops. Um, I have my eye doctor's appointment. I need to reschedule that, actually. So, uh, let me do my eye drops really quick. The reason why I shut the camera off is because some people do get squicked uh, when they see me putting stuff in my eyes. So, uh, yeah. It should, it should help with that. So, give me just one quick second, and I will be right back. Guys, guys, guys. I got stuff to tell you. All right. Did we stretch or every anything like that while I was putting my eye drops in? 
Also, this is your reminder if you have it not and you have supplements you have to take, make sure you've taken those today. Make sure you've done that. All right. I forgot to, um, I canceled my eye doctor, my eye doctor's appointment because, um, it's really hard to, to have appointments when, um, I have to leave Apollo behind because the vet wants me to crate him when I leave the house and it breaks my heart to crate him. I won't, I haven't crated him in a year and a half almost, and I don't plan on going back to crating. It took me eight months, I think, to decrate him. So learn teaching him to be crated again, it just seems so uh, counterproductive. So counterproductive. So yeah, it's. I need to remember to do that. So I will definitely. I need to make another note of that. Where's my Where's my thing? Where are you going? No! Absolutely not! Absolutely not! Go back here! Go here! Toddler, what gives? Teach shapes. Why are you being so... You, well, you're a toddler. That's, that's for sure. That's for sure. Alright. We actually are really close, though, guys. Yes, I know it's Olaf's birthday. Stop bullying me, Sims. Stop threatening me with another toddler. I just want to know, is Kita going to age up? Oh my gosh, it's 2 o'clock and she hasn't gone to... Okay, good. I was going to say, Kita... Eh... Um, you know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how, er, how, um, Miss Piggy will do it once we age her up. And hi, Peachy Cow, how are you? How are you? How is your day going? And thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, share, and get comfy. All right, everybody's back home. Kita, come here so I can kick you out. Okay, thanks. We're kicking her out with love. All right, come blow your candles out. Um, no, Copper. We kind of need you... Actually, hold on. We're going to pause, and I'm going to put the two kids to bed. Miss Piggy, Milo. All right, you go to sleep, and you go to sleep. Both of you are now out of our hair. Oh, <gasps> It went bad. All right, you get to make your own cake now. Make a chocolate cake. All right, make a chocolate cake since apparently, all right, so those that have been paying attention, if any, because I know I haven't. So if you haven't, I don't blame you. Um, does the hamburger cake seem to last a shorter amount of time than the regular cakes? I kind of feel like it is. I kind of feel like it... It Yeah, I kind of feel like it, it lasts a shorter amount of time. Which is kind of annoying. Or is it just because we're using this instead of the fridge? Interesting. All right. Let us blow this out. Add birthday candles. And then let's kick her out. Or... Or hold on, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. 
I'm gonna keep her in the household until we get until we give birth Yeah, 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 that's what I'm gonna do is we're gonna keep her in the household until we give birth to make sure we have that one extra spot um, for us to get pregnant again. Yeah, that's what we'll do. All right, so. She is an evil foodie who is. A maker. Do we like that? Do we like maker for her? And thank you all for the host. It's very, very, very much appreciated. Hosts help us end up on more people's recommended feeds, which means uh, that more people will potentially come over and check us out and hang out in our stream with us. And Mick, hello, my dear. How are you? How is your day going? I hope it's going fantastic. And welcome back to Twitch again. Welcome, welcome back. We have missed you. 100% we have missed you. All right, guys. Do we like Maker? If we like Maker for her, then I will go ahead and lock it in in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All right. We will lock Maker in. And I am not going to kick her out. But, like, she looks gorgeous. So, that's another reason she's sticking around. Because she looks so pretty. Alright, we do need to save. Because that, that's a thing. Thank you, Wyatt. Um, and, yes, I, I, I do need to get back on, on the Tiki Talks. I kind of fell off. Um, if you are in the back room lounge, if there's any TikTok that you'd like to see me do, um, feel free to post it in there and I will try to, um, I, I will try my best to, to get one made because I, I really need to. I'm just kind of fuzzy on ideas at the moment for it. Um, you don't like the triplets juju and chat. That's why I won't kick her out. I mean, can you blame me? Can you blame me? Um, and yes, we do have a tiara time. All right. I feel it'll stick. Uh, but yes, but Mick, how is life going? How is life going? I hope everything is going much better. Um, but yeah. We are kind of in, like, the home stretch-ish of this, almost. Sanky Wyatt. Who is Otto? I don't know who Otto is, but okay. Yes, um, I, although there were, are there, are there two Sims filters? I think there was, last time I checked, I think there was two Sims filters. For it. Let me see. I know Kenzie sent one. How do I check what the filters are? How do I check filters? Do I just have to go to as if I'm posting one? Because if so, like that's way too much effort. Yeah, if so, that's way too much effort. <laughs> I'll figure it out later. I I know very little about actual like TikTok and where to find stuff. And then they updated my like my thing again, like my app, and now I can't find half of anything. <laughs> Cause like I save stuff and now I can't find the save stuff. It, yeah. Yeah. Uh, life is good right now. It's a lot. Friends, boyfriend, golf, and art. That is fair. That is fair. Uh, well, we do miss you on here, but it's good to hear that, that you're living your best life right now, though, Mick. 100% it's good to hear that. All right. Uh, I'm trying to think. What should we do? It's It's grossly raining. 
Our toddler needs to eat. Okay, that's what we'll do. We'll have the toddler eat and then we'll go... We'll have the toddler eat, then potty, and then we'll go and we'll vote on the next dad. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. All right, guys. We are going to vote on the next dad. Because we do need to get ahead with that. So. We do need to get ahead. If we don't, if we don't pre-seduce we risk losing valuable time so all right we do not want to lose said valuable time all right let me filter these down oh we have plenty of choices today guys we got plenty of choices all right Uh, let's see. Starts looking for the class called How to Put Bella's Twitch on TV. No, we are we are not doing we are not doing putting me on a TV. No. No, no, no. We most definitely are not. Oh, hold on. Oh, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. And then let's see. All right. So your options are the Shadow Man from Princess and the Frog, um, Oaken from Frozen, Kristoff from Frozen, John Smith from Pocahontas, or Fix It Felix Jr. Go ahead and vote in the poll, and we'll see what you got. Um, let's see. This weekend you tripped and spent $79 at Barnes & Noble? Um, that, yeah. 100% you tripped. 100% you tripped. I hope you didn't fall on, on any too heavy of a bookshelf. Mm-hmm. I hope you, I hope you didn't fall and hurt yourself on the books. Uh, this is why you're not allowed near a bookstore unless it's a secondhand one. Even then, I'm not allowed near a bookstore. I actually got yelled at by mom the other day. Because she's like, I give you all these books and you never read them. And I was like, but I do read them. It just takes me a while to get to them. I was like, I, I mean, they eventually get read. So, I mean, it's not like I'm abandoning them by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, agreed, fearsome. They're just like chips. You can't, you can't have just one. So, uh, buying books and reading books are two different things. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, I will, so, my mom dug out the, our old Animorph books. Uh, by our, I mean, like, my older brothers and mine. Because I kind of stole them from his bookshelf. Um, and she's like, just get rid of them. You don't read them anymore. They're too young for you. And I'm like, no, I need to buy the rest of them to complete the set. Like, if you have books from your childhood, why get rid of them? Complete the set so you have them. Because I guarantee you, any bookworm as a kid, there was that one series that was never completed and you always had to go to the library to get the rest of the books in those series. And it sometimes took you forever to finish the, uh, finish the series because all the other kids would have the one book you needed out in order to continue. Or like you could skip that book and go back to it. Yeah, it was just... No, it's, it's, it's basically a bookworm's dream to complete a series and own all the, all the books within a series. So, yes, if you find a series, you have to collect them all. Yes, Catherine, 100%. 100%. Uh, your sister went to a thrift store and bought nine books for $3. Dang. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. 
All right, so we got John Smith. All right. I'm pretty sure that's him. Yep, that's him. All right. So we'll add him in in just a moment as soon as the toddler eats. So go eat, toddler. Mm -hmm. Go and eat. And then that way, if while we're out schmoozing and seducing, if the toddler gets a bath, it's no big deal. Um... Magic Treehouse and a series of unfortunate events for you. I actually never... Did I read the Magic Treehouse books? Hold on. I might have. What was that one book where there was like an attic and there was like a key? And it was... I think there was like a trunk. No, I didn't read those. It was like a... You guys know what I'm talking about? It was... Was it the Magic Attic Club, I think? Yes, it was the Magic Attic Club. I loved that series. Loved that series. That was my jam. Uh, you had one series as a kid you loved. I had to make sure you had, like, three of the books in order or you wouldn't get them. That is fair. That is fair. Boxcar Children was good. Yes, uh, Whitney, did you know the Bailey School books? Like, the vampires where, like, they always, like... I think it was, like, Vampires Don't Wear Polka Dots is the first one. They are making a TV series out of that, apparently. Supposedly. Yeah. That, that would be... Yeah. I'm, I'm very interested to see that. Um, but the Boxcar Children was a really, really, really good series. Um, most people never read past the first book, which, I mean, that's fair. Uh, because, like, the first book was sort of standalone. Uh, but the rest of the books in the series were still really, really good. Really, really good. And hi, Tiger Gal, how are you? How's your day going? Uh, but yeah, it, it's definitely, there's a couple of good ones. Um, let's see. What are some other books? I know that they're making the new Percy Jackson series. Hang on, we gotta go say we gotta go add the dad to the world. They're making a new Percy Jackson TV series with age appropriate casting, which that will be interesting um, because you don't realize that it's like the f the five books are supposed to happen before Percy turns sixteen. So I think he's like. I don't remember. How old is Percy in the first book? How old is Percy Jackson in the first book? He's 12. In The Lightning Thief, he's 12. So if you've read those books, think about it. Think about all the stuff he goes through and then think about the fact that he's 12. I'm just saying, it's a lot. It's definitely a lot. Babysitter's Club was impossible to collect them all. Yes. A hundred percent they were. And hi, and hi, kitty cat. How are you? How's your day going? Uh, you're cautiously optimistic about books to TV series. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It, it's very... It's hit or miss. It's hit or miss. Yeah, the series of unfortunate events was good as a standalone movie. Um, but if you compared it to the source material, it was not good at all. So, and my day is going good. My day is going good. I hope your day is going good as well. I, yeah, the whole the whole series, I, I think they were trying to... I don't know what they were trying to do with that series. There was just so much that went wrong with it. And then you get abominations like the Aragorn movie. Which was... Yeah. That one we at least discuss. That one we at least discuss. I mean, as a standalone movie, it was fine. It was fine as a standalone um, if you ha were introduced to it with 
no no other concept of the storyline anything like that i mean it had plot holes but you could write that off as just like them failing to tell the story um yeah but when you put it next to the books it's just cringe i know i'm just talking and i'm like bye yeah so that the aragorn move aragorn movie could have been one of like the greatest movies of that of that time it could have been amazing all right three click three click <gasps> It's a three click. Yes. It is a three click. I'm so excited. We are going to woohoo him just to make sure. We are a first kiss. First kiss. Welcome back, K Vogel. We, we are, we're going to woohoo him in the shower. All right, steamy exchange. Great, great, great. You're going to give us a baby tomorrow. Hope you know that. All right, come woohoo with him. Come woohoo in the bathroom. Okay, so you can't get... Why can't you get to that? Is it this? Can, okay, come take a shower. Maybe you can take a shower? Okay, you can take a shower, but he can't. Alright, well, I don't know what I did wrong. I did something wrong when building that. Either way, they're gonna go woohoo. It's fine. Three click when we're just seducing. I know, right, Nangle? And hi, Annalise, so are you? Kind of on point for John Smith. He was easy to sway. You not wrong. You not wrong. All right. We, we a woohooed so we can bring him over as soon as we give birth. Yeah. Yeah. That works. All right. So we, we've a woohooed. We've seduced. We're ready to go. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How are you doing, Annalise? How's your day going? Did you have a good weekend? All right. Now that we have the dad lined up. Now that we have the dad lined up. Let's get, first off, let's get her inside. Come sit here. Come, yeah, come sit here. Kida. I'm going to have Kida, wait, hold on. Yeah, we're going to have. Harry, we're going to have you come finish this off. I think three more babbles ought to do it. Slide a few more times. There we go. Oh, wait. No, since mom's here. <laughs> Mom, I know you're hungry, but um, if you could teach shapes to Perry, that'd be wonderful. Absolutely wonderful because... We're so close. We are so close, guys. Uh, Eureka was nice. Downloaded lots and lots of CC. Nice. Nice. Um, let's see. I think I haven't gone CC uh, shopping in a while. I think I might be it might be time for me to do some CC shopping. 
I know I did decide that I was going to get rid of all of my um, CC clothing and start over. So there is that. I, I may I may redo that. Oh, I wouldn't have time to go CC shopping every day. I, I, I go down such deep rabbit holes with CC. It's, it, yeah. I think what, because what I wanted to do was I need to make it to where, like, I list every CC that I've downloaded. So that way, you if there's something you guys see, you can download it as well. Um, I just haven't gotten to that yet. Go inside. I haven't kicked you out yet. Oh my gosh. All right, both of you. If you're gonna sit and talk to each other, that's fine. I'm okay with that. But like, um, could you get your skills up too? That'd be much appreciated. Um, yes, if you find any good country CC, um, it does not have to be functional. Guys, it does not have to be functional. It can be um, just clutter items. Um, please put that in the um, in the Discord. All right. Yes, I know you want you want you want an attention, child. It's okay. All my kids want attention. All of them want attention. Oh, hey, cool. All right, stop doing that and stack. Let's see how quick you can get your stack up. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We're so close. We're so close, guys. We can do it. Okay, that, that was a that was a grandkid. Almost, almost. Come on, we can do it. You have to be over 100. 103, come on. Yes! All right, we are at three for everything. Oh, that makes me so happy. All right, candles help from mom. Candles help from mom. All right, Miss Piggy is done with her with her skills. Good. You're nowhere near. All right. Well, you know what? It's fine. Go do your homework now. You can leave them be. <sighs> um, cast CC or build items is fine, Darla. It's fine. Yeah. Just drop it all in the Discord and I'll look and I'll see if I can use it or not. Cause I don't, I don't know if like how we'll do that. Add birthday candles before the child tries to eat it. All right. We good though. We good. So all right. All right. Perry is going to be a erratic all right at a four two a whiz kid who is erratic do we like this for perry the platypus thank you wyatt if we like this for perry then i will lock it in and nope shalia wants to re-roll Lazy. Do we like lazy? If you guys like lazy, then I will lock it in in five, four. Nope, kitty cat wants to reroll. Perky. If we like perky for Perry the platypus. Then I will lock it in in five, four, three, two, one, 
zero. All right, we'll lock in Perky. It's definitely an interesting one. Definitely an interesting one. That's a lot of gifts. That is a lot of gifts. Come back and put thank you. All right. Oh, okay. Come get the mail before you go to before you do anything else, and then go to sleep. Thank you. All right, y'all. <laughs> we went with Perky. That works. All right. And there we go. I am doing my hardest to keep the spreadsheet updated for Kenzie. So Kenzie will be proud when she comes back. We'll, we'll see how well I've done when she comes back and how confused she is. All right. We're not getting much money out of these kids anymore. And I am not okay with that. We need to get more money out of these kids. Are you to level four yet? You're almost to level four. Oh, you, okay, he had to pee. That's fair. All right, we're gonna sign this bed to Perry. You also need food, so. Yeah, oh, he came down and got food on his own. Cool. These kids are being self-sufficient, and I like it. I like it. Yes, Darla. I need to get more money out of these kids. Mm-hmm. Yep, I need, I need more money. They gotta earn their keep. All right, take a shower. Come repair that. I was gonna have her do something, now I don't remember. Oh, that's right. I'm making her clean for us. Oh, that's always fun. All right, Milo's almost done with his stuff. Good, good, good. And Miss Piggy's done. Perry. All right, clean that up and then do your homework and then you can go to sleep. Go to sleep, sleep. Oh, she's going to have to waddle when she wakes up. That sucks for her. <laughs> if she even makes it to the toilet. And there's no food left. Of course not. Of course not. No job offer, though. Thank you. Okay, I think we are in better shape now. Yes. And thank you, Fearsome. We also need to write more books. It's okay. We'll get there. Oh, and the baby's crying. Super efficient baby care before the baby squeals. And grab a serving. How did we only just now become good friends with her? Or hit Olaf, yeah. I don't know. Oh, what did I do prior to streaming full time? I worked in HR. Yep, I, I worked in HR. The thing about HR, I loved it. Um, but HR can be a little bit soul crushing. And it's very easy to lose uh, your sense of self. And um, 
Yeah, it's 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 very easy to lose sight of the human aspect of HR. It's very easy to do that. Um and it just it got to be too much for me. So yeah, I I had to get out. I would never be able to go back to working in HR, even though I was good at it. I loved it. Um, it just mentally destroyed my like destroyed me mentally. So, yeah, no purple. You have to, you have to find the right company. Unfortunately, I bounced around from company to company, and I never found one that was a good fit for me. Um. So it is, it is what it is. But I will say, I did. So I will say, I worked at Amazon for a bit in HR, and. All the stuff you see on the news about Amazon, yeah, <laughs> it's not as bad as people make it out to be. Nine times out of ten, I was the person trying to save your job. And I've, I've probably saved a couple hundred people their jobs on a regular basis. I had seven people that every other week I would find a way to keep them from lose their job from losing their job yep that part does get draining all right guys we got a baby that yeeted get your yeets in chat all right so I know why it's getting his his finger ready fearsome probably is too so we are gonna we are gonna hope for this angelic all right guys if we like angelic nope angelic again fearsome Silly. All right. If we like silly. Nope. We don't like silly. Angelic again. If we like angelic. Then nope. Wyatt. Clingy. If we like clingy. Then I will lock it in. In. Five. Nope. Wyatt last one. Independent. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Alright. So go here. And you're going to teach shapes to Olaf. I knew he was going to do it, guys. I knew he was going to. That's why I was hoping for you guys to send me all the good juju. All right, there we go. Learn, get your thinking skill up. Because we're going to go in labor soon. And we already have the side piece on the side. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and invite him over, I think. No, we're going to invite him over as soon as she goes into labor. And then as soon as he appears on the lot, we're going to leave. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I mean, it might fear some, but you never know. I could win this. I could win this. Wait, it said Jasper spirits fading away? Did ja did wait. Jasper died? Wait, what? Jasper Hale died. Hold up. How did you die? Hold up. How did Jasper Hale die? Hold on. He's not supposed to die. 
Whose dad was he? Uh, Thanos and Rose. Okay. Samantha. Samantha and Rose had the same hair. Rose. All right. What happened to you, Jasper? No fears of he died by electrocution. I didn't know that was a thing with vampires. Well. All right, then. All right, then. Well. Sucks for him. I know, right? The more you know. Now we know of another way to kill a vampire. Alright, the kids who do not need to be awake can go to sleep. Everybody else, we got stuff to do. How did you get your... Oh, yeah, you won't, you won't be anywhere near by the time we go into labor, which will be very soon, so... Play inside, make believe, play inside, then sleep. And mom's actually in a really great mood. Which is good. I'm trying to think of what we should have her do until she goes into labor. Which will be very soon. I think we'll just let her be. Yeah, I think we'll just let her be. Yep, because she went into labor just now. Okay, good. Good, good, and good. Now, if we can get imagination up to level three, that'd be wonderful. Yeah, that'd be wonderful. So, imagination to level three, please. How close are you? Oh, we got plenty of time. We got plenty of time. I don't know where... There we go. Imagination level three. Kiddo, go to sleep. Now, guys, this is where it's going to get tricky. We're going to invite John to hang out at the current lot. And as soon as we see him spawn in, we're going to the hospital. Is that mean? Yes. Are we going to do it anyway? 100%. All right. Now we just have to hope he doesn't have a personal emergency and leave. And yes, she did finish reading the three books. She did. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's here's where it gets interesting. Our doctor died. Well, that's sad. Oh wait, no, this is our normal doctor. Why is she why is she relegated to an assistant with another ghost? I don't know if I like this. And she's following us awfully close. Please don't die. Please don't die while I'm giving birth. That that would be really bad. Please don't. All right, guys. Gamble your channel points. Do you think it's going to be a boy or a girl? All right. And then as soon as we get home, we are going to yeet Kida from the house. This is going to be cutting it real close. So if Milo and Miss Piggy do not become teenagers on Monday and move out by Tuesday, we're sunk. 
if we have twins. If we don't, then no need for me to stress. And that's a good question, Rachie. Why do you always vote boy? I'm going to go with, since the last two were boys, we're going to have the next one be a girl. That's my reasoning. Yep, that is my reasoning. All right, let's see. You've got... 25 seconds left, guys. 25 seconds left to get your uh, predictions in. Okay, you got 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Bellabot, read the room. All right, let us find out. All right, like I said, I'm going to go with girl. And it is a girl. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, this is Dr. Doofenshmirtz's kid. Okay. And Girl Road, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, share, and get comfy. All right, guys. So how I am going to do this is I'm going to open it up for names. Remember, um, Lion King and Atlantis are currently not available for um, baby names. So it will need to be the name of the character and the universe um, as long as it is Disney or fairy tale folktale. So let me open it up. And there you go. And, uh, Little Cop, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, share, and get comfy. All right. We've got room for two more. Two more, guys. I will go ahead and start the poll. All right. All right. Yes, we do have three in. Um, and he goes, is, is it Aurora from Sleeping Beauty? And yes, Sally Bunny, we are. We are. Yes. All right. So. Ah. I ran out of characters. I hate when that happens. All right. All righty. There we go. Go ahead and vote for whichever one you want. The names are Lazuka from the Enchanted Grove, which is a Romanian fairy tale. Um, Belle from Beauty and the Beast or Aurora. Go ahead and vote. Oh, uh, hold on. There we go. I lost chat. I brought it back. Uh, no, Candace or Vanessa. That would have been really good. I was like, Vanessa. First Vanessa I was thinking of was from um, 
Little Mermaid and then it clicked and I was like, oh, that would have been so good. I do, I do, I do like that. So, yeah. I mean, there's always next time. There is always next time. So, go ahead and vote for the name you want. All right. Okay, I, I, I think I see which way you guys want to go. That was instantaneous. Instantaneous. No twins juju. You sit back down with that juju. You sit back down with that juju, please. Thank you. Um, And I'm Vixie. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, share, and get comfy. All right. Let's take a look. All right. I think I can kind of see which way you guys are going with it. I think I can see that. So let me go ahead and get to the nice, spreadsheet nice. going. Hashtag twins, please gain. No twins. No twins. We don't want that. And hi, I'm Vixie. How are you? How is your day going? All righty. Oh, wait. Olaf was independent. I forgot to add that on there. My bad. All right. Oh no, I totally for didn't add Perry's thing to it. Oh no, I'm gonna have to go back and watch the VOD. It's okay. Um, Kenzie's not back for a bit, so yeah, okay. I have till tomorrow. Okay. I'm determined, guys. We are gonna make Kenzie proud with how I've kept up this spreadsheet. Alright, so Aurora has won, which honestly, guys, Aurora is a gorgeous name just in general. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous name. All right, so we have Aurora. If I could type, that'd be amazing. All right. Single, please. Please. In three, two, one. Oh, and I didn't do the, the next poll either. I am sorry, guys. It's it's my bad. I forgot to give you the second one. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, Perry's childhood trait was perky. I forgot to mark down his... Um, uh, whatchamacallit? His... Toddler trait. Alright, I gotta go in and... All right, where is it? All right, you should be able to add in names. Remember, it can not be from Lion King or Atlantis, the Lost Empire. Um, so make sure you give me the character name and the um, universe that it is from. This sucks. This sucks. Uh, so, Techhead Danny, we can't use Perry because uh, Perry is the name of uh, the child we just had. So, that was Alfredo Linguini's. Uh, so, we would need to choose a different name for that. So, let me go ahead and, and refund that back to you. All right, there you go. You can go ahead and resubmit with a different name if you would like. And then... All right, so we need one more name. One more name, guys. Yeah, man, yeah. I am not a fan of putting this on here. All 
All right. Uh, so yes, guys, we need one more, one more baby name. You want to do Phineas? All right, we can do Phineas. We can add Phineas. All right, go ahead and vote in the poll, and we'll go from there. I hope y'all are enjoying this, because I'm definitely not. Oh, no, 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 you're totally fine, totally fine, Danny. Um, I just said that we already had someone named Phineas. So, um, not fi uh, Phineas, we already had uh, Perry. Perry was um, Alfredo Linguini's child. So, yeah. we c Unfortunately, we couldn't use that a second time. Yep, I specifically left an aged up teen in the game to make sure we did not get triplets. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, yeah. No. But why is it always twins back to back? Like, I don't like this. At the end of this, I'm gonna need a cake or something. I'm gonna need a cake. Yep. I've decided I need cake. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Wyatt should bring me cake. Mm-hmm. Oh, slash if you agree that Wyatt should do this. All right. I kind of see where we're going with this one. All right, uh-huh, see? See, see, Wyatt? Even if you can't bring it to me, you should send me cake. Mm-hmm. Yep, they all agree. All right. Let's put Phineas in here. All right, so guys, that also closes out Phineas and Ferb. For a for names, so we can no longer use Lion King, Atlantis, the Lost Empire, or Phineas and Ferb for baby names. All right. So as soon as we get home, all right. So this bobbins us up officially, guys. To 90 kids. 90 kids. Hi. We are officially at 90 kids, guys. That is, let that sink in a second. Let that sink in. Mm-mm. You think cheesecake, too? I agree. There should always be cheesecake. Always, always, always be cheesecake. All right, come here, Kita. Do you have anything in your inventory? You do. Sell those, give that to you. Oh, hey, he's right up here. Okay, good. So, sim commands, maintain, move. Move in with Kiara. All right, so then since we've already woohooed him once, we're just going to immediately go try for baby. Yep, 
Yes, Wyatt, it's the final countdown. Yep, the final, final countdown. Well, no, the final, final countdown will be the last five. Um, It definitely has gone faster this time, Darla. I agree. It definitely has. Um, I think that's because we know a lot more than we did last time. And also, we've done this rather consistently. In the beginning, in like the last time, I brought, I didn't do it this consistently. Like, there would be, I think there was a whole month that we didn't play it at all. So, yeah. Oh, wait, no, come here. You're gonna try for baby with him in the shower here. Because we're right by a toilet, so. Oh, my God, no, child, get out. Why, why did that get broke? Oh, gosh. Go to sleep, Olaf. Or no. Yeah, that's Olaf. Oh, and Aurora's and Phineas are both hungry. Well, we have priorities. Baby first. Okay, that's a lot. Okay, is she pregnant? She is pregnant. Okay, good. Um, but really quickly... She's gonna tell him, and then we're gonna send her to feed. So, John, come back here. Tell him. All right, no talkie. Go, go take care of your children now. Okay, thanks. Bye. Uh, you okay? Thank you. And he seems... Smug. He seems smug. Alright, guys. It is that time. It is that time. Do you think he is going to live? Or do you think he is going to Vlad? All right, gamble away, gamble away. I'm very curious to see which way it goes. Because looking at the dads. The last two have survived. So yeah, the last, the last two have survived. Will be very interesting to see what happens.
And he goes to Vlad. All right. Hi, Sam. You're just in time. Although, considering what he actually did, like the IRL version of him, I'm glad that he went to Vlad. Just saying. But let us find out his doom. Fully fitting, fully fitting. I 100% agree with this one. 110% agree with this one. All right, so this is how we are going to do it. We are going to yeet him on over to Vlad. Thank you for contributing to our retirement fund. You're going to move in with Vlad. Thank you. We're going to feed our children. Hurry up. Feed one and then feed the other. Why are you not feeding? We've already got the notification they're very hungry. So for this one, super efficient baby care. Come on. And then we then we have to go a Vladin. Which actually, hold on. Where are you? I need you to leave. I need you to leave so I can Vlad you. Make you leave. All right. Go away. Go bye. Yep. Thank you. And goodbye. That's fantastic. All right. Um, history lesson for the kids that did not pay attention. Um, essentially, Pocahontas' story was not the same. It was nowhere near what actually happened in the Disney movie. And the age gap... She was, first and foremost, she was much, much younger than she was portrayed to be in the Disney movie. And John Smith was much, much older. And there was a lot of icky things like um, him ignoring the word consent and everything like that. So, yeah. <laughs> he was not a good person. Yeah, he, he, he was in no way a good person. I do understand that back then, the age difference thing was not as big of a deal and was fairly common. However, the fact that he took advantage of her in a drastic way is never going to be okay. Yeah, we, we do not like him. We do not like them. Um, asking me the same thing. Why am I not feeding myself real food? I had food ish. Hey, I, I got myself Culver's this weekend. So like I had actual food this weekend. I almost sent you guys a picture of it. I literally almost did. Oh, Untamed Wolfie. That is a strong statement and I love you for it. I have Twizzlers. Right now, I have Twizzlers. I don't know. Hold on. Can you see I'm balancing this upright and it keeps moving? Yeah, there we go. I have a Twizzler. I have two. Well, no, I have two. I have two. I. All right, I'm gonna need you to come down here. Come relax. All 
And Vlad, I'm going to need you to come dance here. Yeah. Uh, no, Darla, I had I had other food before today. Um, but I'm not going to tell them what I had. I'm not going to tell them what what I had. Although in my defense it was my parents' fault cuz they showed up like an hour later than they were supposed to. So I didn't have time to like make food food. All right, come on. We we gonna roast you. We're we're roasting John Smith. Roasty, roasty, nice and toasty. Yep, you're gonna roast in a disgusting one, and I am here for it. I don't... Are you almost... Are you... Okay, you're filthied out. You're pleasantly satisfied from a woohoo. And clean and satisfied. Yeah, no. You, you nasty. You're gonna continue to relax in here until you're oversteamed. We're esteeming you in filth. Are you just gross because of this? Come on. Come on. You know you want you know you want to you know you want to. Uh excuse you, get back in here. Who said you could get out? Who said you could try to go get food? Absolutely not. You must roast. See? See? There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that as food. Mm-hmm. All right. Come on. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got it. We finally got it. We've got the over steam. Steam overdose. Okay. He's he's close. He's close. He's close. We got to get Vlad back in here. We got to get Vlad breakdancing. Come here, Vlad. <laughs> Vlad shouldn't be too far. Look at this grossness. Look at this grossness. That's a great thumbnail. All right. All right, are you are you gonna go? Are you gonna go? Okay, you're taking longer to roast than Tony Stark. Oh wait, nope, he's dying. He's dying. He's dying. As he dies into the wall. I love that. Oh, Vlad. No, no cry. No cry. Dance. You don't cry over a dead body. You know that. Although, I, why is he wearing his, like, normal clothes for this? And where is Grimm? Okay, so the fact that Grimm is, is spawning in the butler's bedroom, I have concerns. 
I have many concerns. Oh, but they're close enough. What do you say? What do you say? Is this dancing on Grim? I think this qualifies as dancing on Grim. Especially because Grim just took a step to the side. Yep, yep. Vlad was dancing too close to Grim. 100%. 100%. All right, well, release the spirit to the netherworld because we don't want to keep him here. And the butler's coming in to clean, right? Yep, the butler's a cleaning. And Grim is off to watch TV. So, yes, Vlad, you got to you got to twerk on him. Congratulations. All right, so this is our graveyard of doom. Yep, this is our graveyard, guys. I know, right, Fearsome? The day that I say we're not doing it because we still have to finish tweaking a few things is the day we mark so many things off. Kind of annoying. But, all right. It's good, though. Because he is gone, we are going back to our children, and we are going to, I don't know what we're going to do yet. We'll figure it out when we get there. But, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Um, and Milady Avalon, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, share, and get comfy. Oh, Sam. Uh, and for those that are just coming in, we did decide on the theme for um, the next 100 Baby Challenge. We decided that we're going to be doing a country one. So we're going to be living it up in Henford on Bagley. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I'm glad you're having fun here, Lil Cobb. We try to have fun. We try to have fun kind of the whole point is like I know I'm a lot of people's co-workers while they're getting through like their day or um those that are doing schoolwork that are uh, doing it from home um so yeah I I get it like I'm a lot of people's co-workers or like study buddies so I try to make things fun and entertaining so that way you have a little bit of a distraction to keep you sane as much as anyone can be in this day and age all right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the one she's pregnant with. I don't like this. All right, Milo. What? Okay, let's do a quick inventory. What do we need? Milo is good on that. Milo is going to become an A student. Miss Piggy is the problem, child. Um... As in, they're going to have animals and we're going to live in Hinford on Bagley. That's as far as I've gotten. I figured you could help with the rest of that once I tell you more. Definitely your coworker right now. See? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, and that's sort of kind of how the whole thing was set up. Because I know a lot of people, I know when I was still working full time, I used Twitch as a way to kind of just like have some sort of background. For when I was working on stuff. So yeah, it was really helpful. Wait, why'd I click that? I need this. Thank you. Alright, let's get the projects down. Old McWyatt had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Yep. Uh-huh. Alright, so he doesn't need one. She doesn't need one. I'm gonna get another one. Because we've got... Yeah, so if we put Miss Piggy upstairs to do this one, and we use Perry to go downstairs and do this one. Yeah, we should be good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that should be good. I 
I think. Yeah. Yeah, that should be all we have to do. And there's only 13 of these, which I appreciate. Uh, you know what? It'll just be cheaper just to replace that. No, it's not cheaper. How much was this? Oh, it is cheaper. By a lot. Okay. Just replace that then. Oh, wait. Did I... I think I did accidentally fix it without... Alright. I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it. I will take it. And thank you for the host, Samantha. You ain't bought the farm yet? Alright, that's fair. That's fair, but you will be buying the farm. Uh, you start the morning with Jake and late morning and afternoon with you. Oh, well, that's good to hear. That's fun. It's always fun. I know a lot of people do start over at Taz or Jake, end up the meander their way over here. I start every morning with Taz. Mm -hmm. Every morning. I get up and I pop over, say good morning to her, and then I'll meander my way over to Jake at some point. Usually whenever I actually finally sit down at my computer. Although Apollo has been getting me up earlier and earlier, it's not been fun. But send him all the good vibes, guys, because tomorrow... Tomorrow is his... Um, he has a vet appointment. And it's going to be when um, they check his his bandage because he's in a new type of splint. So they want to see how well he's working with this one. All right. So this is book number 10, guys. So we did the water tinker garden. We need to do animal and fast flying fairies. So all right, we're going to do fast flying fairies. We'll just let her right away. You need to win the lottery first. You need to do a lot of things. All right, so you're all set. Miss Piggy, once you're done eating, and she's also going to be our mermaid, and it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to see what her tail is going to look like. All right, no talking to them. What about, what's your skill set like? Oh, you still need to get a bunch of stuff up. So, go play chess. Okay, thanks. You're fine. You're fine. I figured that's who you meant. I figured that's what, who you meant. Because the only other um, simmer that I know of that is James is James Turner. And I don't think he streams at a specific time. I don't think he has a schedule. He might and I just may not know it. But start working carefully down here. Perry's in here doing this. All right, Milo, if you're just going to do that, you need to come play Blick Block. Get that motor skill up. Get that motor skill up. All right, everybody's happy. Except for Olaf, who is not happy. Olaf, knock it off. Go potty. Let's max your potty skill out. Okay, thanks. Burb for a coffee refill. That is fair. That is fair. Alright, I think we need to save. We have not saved in a while. So, we have saved. Um, yes. So, if you do exclamation point extreme, it'll send you the link to it. Um, but essentially, so we have to have all kids with one matriarch before she becomes an adult. Um, every 25 kids, we move to a brand new house and the household funds reset to zero and we have to come up with a new method of earning money. Um, after we get pregnant, then the dad is subjected to what we call the 50-50, which is if they live and get to stay in the save file or if they are sent to Vlad and become a test subject. If they become a test subject, we spin the wheel to find out what is going to happen to them and the method of their demise. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much pretty much the main parts of it. 
It's definitely a lot of fun. It is definitely a lot of fun. Um, but it is a lot to handle. So if you haven't done the 100 baby on your own, like if you haven't done it before, I would definitely not recommend that you start with the extreme version um, because you definitely can overwhelm yourself really quick. Really, really, really quick. But it's, it's definitely, it definitely adds extra spice to it. For sure. For sure. You've done a few of them? Oh, yeah, if you've done it at least once, then you definitely should have no problem with it. Um, this is more about time management and not filling your household. So, like, making sure the kids hit certain milestones before they get to... Before you get to a certain point within the challenge. So, yeah, it just... Gets very interesting sometimes. Alright, who's calling us? No, we're not going to the flea market. Thank you, but no. Make a silly face. Talk. Rock and change the diaper by the time you're done. You need to eat too. All right. Grab a serving. Then we're going to... I think we can submit to Literary Digest. We can. Excellent. Eh. All right. Get the mail. We don't have any bills. I don't think. No, no bills. Sweet. All right. Miss Piggy finished her homework. Good job, Miss Piggy. Put that in your inventory. Okay, yeah. I think she's in pretty good shape. Yeah, it's Sunday afternoon. Aw, oh, man. I didn't want to be a star. I didn't want her to be famous. Blah. Well, that's no fun. That is no fun at all. Oh, so you're the reason why she couldn't pee in there. Use the bathroom and then take a shower. There we go. Um, how old is she right now? She is a two days from aging up. Yeah, she's two days from aging up and we still have to have nine more kids. Now, she can age up to adult after she has the last child. Um, but she has to be a young adult when she gives birth to the last child. So it's definitely, we're definitely in crunch time. And hi, SZ, how are you? How's your day going? I hope it's going fantastic. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Yes, I am still working on my caffeine. Why are you crying? Oh, because a grandkid died. I'm not even going to bother making you happy. I'm not even going to bother. I was, but then I decided against it. How tired are you? Oh, oh, you angry tired. All right, go sleep. No tantrum, just sleep. No tantrum, just sleep. And do that. Okay. Okay, so the good part is we're potty level 2 and imagination level 3. Yeah, that's not good news at all. That's not good news at all. I wish it was, but it was. it's not. Alright, you are almost there. You are almost there, child. I just need you to get to level four. So then I can have you do your project. Oh, there's still food that's good there. Of course. And then do your homework. <gasps> Wait, did they do their homework? They didn't do their homework. Oh, you sneaky sneakies. 
They tried to get away with not doing their homework. Oh, I see what you try to do. I see it. I see it. It's not going to get past me, though. All right, you're almost done. Almost done, because I know you got to pee. Come on. I didn't see who that was. Must be a kid. Must be someone, like, one of our kids or something. I don't know. I wasn't paying close enough attention. All right, so go use the bathroom first since that's your reddest thing. Grab a serving and then homework. Oh my gosh, you babies. Knock it off. I don't want you crying. Oh, we got 2.2k out of this one. That's not bad. All right, that works. And hi, Ladybug. How are you? How's your day going? Uh, Say, at least the twins being born on a weekend allows you to get the tots and kids ready to age up. Yes. I really, really, really don't like having twin babies i absolutely hate it absolutely hate it oh yeah okay let's see milo is done with homework is ready to become an a student so we're gonna leave milo alone Miss Piggy. Done with homework. Done with the school project. Needs to eat. Okay. And, uh, Psycho Rancher, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, chair, and get comfy. Welcome on in. How are you? How's your day going? And I'm doing good, Ladybug. I'm doing good. I am stressed because chat cursed me. They absolutely cursed me and they're very proud of it. They are extraordinarily proud of it. Yes, you did. You cursed me with twins. 100% you did. A hundred percent you did. All right. Yeah, you know what? That works. Because then I'll put all the stuff away. Oh, I was going to say, where didn't you have stuff to clean out? But yeah, okay. That works. Uh, three left, three left. You know what? That works. That works. That works. Yes, if I didn't block you from triplets, y'all would have gotten it and I would have been sunk. Oh my gosh. Just change the diaper of the kiddo. And that got you no food. Uh, have a quick meal. Just eat a ham and cheese sandwich. Anything to make it simple. Anything to make your life just a little bit simpler. Yep. Anything to make it a little bit simpler. Oh, wait. Before you do that, open a present and sneak a present. And let's see. Do we get anything good? We haven't done that in a while. Okay. Oh, that's not good. 
Come quickly get something to eat, Olaf. Hey, he's fine. He's fine. It'll be fine. Maybe. We'll see. All right. Eat up, please. Eat up. Yeah, the skill, yes, getting the skills up is the worst part of any 100 baby challenge. <gasps> there was literally nothing in the present other than sadness and lies. That is, that's like the worst thing. Ooh, we got a microwave. We got a microwave noise. All right, well, since you need, go potty. What do you need that's fought? Um, let's do thinking. Yeah, let's do thinking. Well, I will let you play on your um, Wabbit tablet since your fun is like non-existent. But only after, it pot after he potties. The benefits of having an independent toddler. All right, it's Monday, 4 a.m. Take a shower. All those fun things. What do you need? You need the same thing. So take a shower, use the bathroom. And you desperately need a shower. But I'll let you sleep a little bit more. Uh, sounds like the type of presents you used to get. Those types of presents are never acceptable. Never acceptable. Because they literally are nothing but sadness and lies. These babies need to stop their crying. Bounce, coo at, cuddle. Make a silly face. Talk. Stop your crying, please. Please. And hi, Pugged. How are you? How's your day going? All right. Rock. And now dirty diaper. All right. Oh. He's the one doing it. Mm-mm-mm. Well, that explains so much. What's up, Sam? Um, you forgot to ask with the elemental challenges, is there a specific rule on the spouses? Like, do they have to be in a certain career or anything? No, there is not. Um, I think. Ma'am. Ma'am. What, did you at me and I ignore it or something? No one added me. You just were complaining. Which I kind of just ignored. Because y'all do that anyway. When I say things like that. So, yeah. <sighs> but Sam, thank you for gifting subs. To Tay doing Disney, Terentia, Whitney, Seaside Sarah, that Sim girl, and Eagle, uh, Raven Lynn, I am Z Kitty Cat Gaming Noom, and, uh, and Talia Town. Thank you, ma'am. 
Uh, get an adult. Sure. Responsibility. Sure. I I have no words. All right, go here. Everybody, go outside, cause you y'all are gonna be ready to go to school. Sends R two to go get foodies. T G A T and not hot pockets. Hot pockets are food. They are. What do you think? Are hot pockets food? He's just looking at me like. Why, do you have some? I got an ear perk, so that means he agrees with me. Mm-hmm. That means he agrees with me. Hot pockets are snacks, not food. Hot pockets are food! Yes, they are! They are food. I promise they are food. All right, come here. Um, Can you teach shapes to Olaf, please? Thank you. See? See? Thank you, Ladybug. And now you want some Hot Pockets. I say do it. I say do it. Although Apollo does not think everything is food. Isn't that true, bud? You have very specific tastes. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, guys, guys. When asked if you ate food today, you said kinda. Yeah, I kind of had food today. Mm-hmm. You don't have them in the UK? That's such a shame, because they're amazing. Absolutely amazing. They are absolutely amazing. Hot Pockets are three food groups. Three food groups, what do you mean? One Hot Pocket equals just a knee ice snack. Only three to four Hot Pockets tocketer equals make a meal. Uh, no, 007, if I had three Hot Pockets at a time, I would get severely sick. Because that would be far too much food. They, it, that's a lot of food. The serving size on it is one Hot Pocket, guys. Oh, that's Pippa that was calling. Okay. You're supposed to be teaching shapes to Olaf. Thank you. Uh, one, possibly two. Just depends. Uh, so basically they are, essentially they're like miniature calzones. But okay, I see what you mean, Daenerys. I see what you mean. Oh my gosh, why is she not doing it? Teach shapes to Olaf. Olaf, you are not allowed to refuse it. Why are you not? Okay, there we go. There we go. I had concerns, but no more. We're good. We're good. Serving size is one hot pug. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to Google this. Hot pocket serving size. Serving size is one sandwich, guys. Signs the petition for Bella to eat actual food. Guys, guys, guys. UP. Thank you for those, Rachie. And fearsome 007. Sam eating R2. What the heck? You have to have at least two when you eat them. One wouldn't be enough. Yeah, I, I don't know. It was, for me, that one's enough. I will die on this hill, Sam. Hot Pockets are food. I even said to mom earlier, have you ever met anyone more stubborn than me? 
She just looked at me and got in the car and left. Didn't even say bye. I had to laugh. I had to giggle. Yeah, so Duck Duck on the box, on the box that I looked just looked up, it said one sandwich. So I'm going with it's a sandwich. And how are we at a level four hype train? Excuse me. I look away and how did we get to level four? Do I need to update the blame command to Sam? Um, which hot pocket is my favorite? Uh, there's actually only two that I can eat without getting sick to my stomach. Um, and that's the uh, crispy crust. Sam. Ma'am. Sends a court order to all places to no longer deliver hot pockets to Bella unless she aggresses. I wish I could get hot pockets delivered. I wish I could get hot pockets delivered. But every time I try to order Hot Pockets delivered, they only have the garlic crust. And I'm just like, eh. Bella, I am way more stubborn, you know this. I don't know if you're more stubborn than me. Or you have more ways to show your stubbornness than I do. I don't know what the answer to that is. Oh, no, a fearsome, 100%. 100%. And what she didn't, my grandmother did. <sighs> Let me see who got gifted subs in this time, Sam. Um, Chris, Nikki, Autumn Ghost, Owl Lover Girl, Munchkin, Dis Spartan, Italia, Nut Sweets, Am Jensen, Luke. Thank you for that, Sam. What the heck? What is the heck? I'm gonna ma'am you again. There you go. Okay. Change dirty diaper. I don't know what else you need, infant. This is why I don't like twins. Yeah, go eat. And thank you guys for thanking Sam. She's being very naughty. Put the baby down. Thank you. Uh, you legit had a fight with your mom when you were a teen about your attitude and told her, well, it's your fault and she couldn't argue. That is true. That is true. I, I agree. I wish you could super efficient baby care. All of them in a row. All right, this is going to be a little bit complicated, guys, because I don't have it in here. So. All right, this is, I, I think I paused it. Hold on. I did pause it. All right, so this is going to be a little bit complicated because um, I have to go to the kitchen and it's blocked off. So, I don't have anything in here, Sam. I don't bring stuff in here because I never expect it. If it happens, it's wonderful, but I never expect it. Hey, hold on, what did I miss? Did I miss something? Oh, the twin thing. You know I like you, Sin. I just don't like twins in the, in the babies. Like, in the Sims. All right, give me just a second. Yes. Yes. Uh, Sin is the exception to my dislike of twins in the game. Mm -hmm. All right, so I am going to go get the hot sauce and the crackers. And I will be right back. Um, 
Do you guys, uh, if we guys want to do a poll really quick, we'll do a poll really quick. A, a, so, all right, go ahead and do a quick one minute poll on what treat you want me to give Apollo. So, does he get a chicken cookie or a roaster? So, go ahead and vote in that one while I go get the um, hot sauce. So, be right back. All right, what, what what did we decide to give him? Y'all chose chicken cookie, okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, let's do the cookie. You want a cookie? Hmm. Nice, a very good boy. All right, there's another cookie right there. To swallow your first one. This dog, I swear, guys, this dog. All right, let's see. Oh, I have one right here. I have a cracker thing right here. Wait, what, Fearsome? Why is it always all right and not all left? That's a good point. Is there a reason for it? Like, is there a reason why we went with the word right instead of left for that? That's a mind-boggling twister right there. Yeah, that's a that's a mind-boggling twister. 100% it is. 100%. All right. Your guess is because the majority of the world is right-handed. That's fair. That's fair. All right. Oh, shit. Well, okay, but it looks like I'm gonna have to vacuum after stream. You're going in the bedroom for that one. All right. Um, yes. No, I do know that's true, Sin. Um, because my mom is left-handed, so she had that. She had all those issues. But all right. Mods, if you want to do the Squirtle Dance, Squirtle Jam poll, feel free. If not, we'll do that after this. But. All right. Dang. 
This is a strong smell, I'll tell you that. A strong smell. Whew, I thought I was gonna sneeze for a moment there. Okie doke. Okie doke. I forgot. Uh, let me check one thing. Okay, go ahead and get your hots in chat. They are a follower emote. Um, so yeah, the the Bella hots. Get your Bella hots in chat. Oh, okay. All right, I'm not looking forward to this. And for proof, there's there's the hot sauce cracker. All right, go ahead and just spam the chat. All right, in three, two, one. Mm. Oh my gosh. Whew. Okay, that's really spicy. Really, really, really spicy. Ugh. It's really spicy. I don't like it. Mm-mm. Okay. Very spicy. Very spicy. Whew. All right. Which one did y'all choose? I'm sorry, bud. Okay. I see which one you chose. Um, it is the. I'll show it. Ugh. It's Frank's Red Hot. I cannot handle hot at all. Like, at all, at all. I mean, no handle hot. It's spicy hot. Ah. But that is the reward if we hit a level 5 hype train along with the Squirtle Dance song. So, it's, it's one of the few ways that I can try to say thank you back to you guys whenever you guys riot and go wild and all this stuff. What the heck? Hmm. Alright, guys. Well, it is a squirtle dance time. Wait, hold on. Oh, there it is. That was really spicy. All right. Old Slash, if you are ready for a Squirtle Jam. Whew. My nose is going to be a running. Old Slash, if you are ready for a Squirtle Jam. Oh, man. Like, I can tell I haven't eaten anything spicy in a while. <sighs> All right. All righty. Uh, which one was it? Oh, it was this one. Okay. So. 
Get your Squirtle Jams and your Bella Jams in chat, as well as any of your other dancing emotes and your Squirtles. So, Squirtle Jams, if you have BTTV and you don't have any of the emotes, um, or your Squirtles and your Jams. Because we're going to have a dance party. Okay? Alright. Let's do this. I thought we had a Squirtle Jam. I'll look after Stream Fearsome. All right. Let's do this. Well, thank you for that, guys. That one is one of our shorter ones, but it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. So, whew. well, thank you for that. And seriously, thank you for, like, the, the hype train and everything like that. That's very, very, very sweet of you. <sighs> All right. All right, it's jam or squirtle, not squirtle jam. I think I might, I think I might change that fearsome. I think I might change that to where like the squirtle is our actual like dancing squirtle. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um, if you want to throw something in the reminder section, I'll look at it after stream. Yes. 100% I still think I need cake today. What? Do you not like Mama's dancing? Are you telling me Mama's dancing sucks? Yeah, pretty much. And hi, how are you doing? How's your day going? <sighs> All right. Well, seriously, thank you guys. You guys are very, very sweet to me. What the actual heck? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. It, it's It's been a very interesting day so far today. Um, let's see. All right, heading back to this. I can put this over here for now. He just got a cookie. You just got two cookies. And he got a no hide bone, which he chewed on for an hour and a half. Um, and he got his start of stream cookie. And the little stinker spit part of his medicine out this morning and I didn't find it right away. So not only did he have that, that grandma hand fed him with wet food. 
Then grandma also fed him because surely mom must be starving him. Mm-hmm. No, he's he's just bored. That's that's what it is, guys. Is he's just bored. Um, he can't go and do anything other than just lay there. Um, at least for another three weeks. Yeah, he's got another three weeks minimum of laying around the house and not being able to do anything, which is very sad. Oh, you have to re-download Sims. You deleted all your games. Oh no. That's the worst, is when you have to re-download everything. A lump of coal is a gift. Well, I mean... Better that mom gets caught with the bad... With the bad present than the kiddos. So, there is that. He called you and said more, please? Oh, I'm sure he wants more. Okay. A... A and a B. <sighs> okay, we're good, guys. We are so good. All right, come here and go potty. And then go to sleep. Mom can eat this. Make herself useful. Okay. Okay, guys, we're on a roll. We are on a roll right now. All right, come blow the candles out. Miss Piggy, come sit. Perry, the platypus. You're gonna go do your homework. And then when you're done with your homework, you're gonna go do a project. Cause I think you're, oh, I didn't get to look for my low age stuff. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. Toddler's about to angry poop. Yes, toddler was about to angry poop, which is a problem. So, yes. Alrighty, so. Oh, wait. A history of the fast flying fairies. Alright, guys. So. Who's aging up? This is Milo. So Milo is a geek who is also an egghead. What do we think of egghead? And then let me do out of this one. 12. So popularity, this is going to be out of 7. A good vampire. So Milo wants to be a vampire. All right. Fearsome, you want to re-roll that? All right. Slob. Do we like slob? We've had too many eggheads lately. That is fair. We have had a lot of eggheads. How, when was, who was the last egghead? Yeah, we just had one in... To lose. To lose was our last egghead. Yeah. And before that, we had quite a few of them. All right. So, if we want slob, then I will lock it in in five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right. We will go with slob. He's a geek who is a slob. Oh, absolutely not. Um, this is horrifying. This is horrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Yeah, you're getting a makeover. How did you get that nose, though? That nose, how... Wait, who is his dad again? Whose dad are you? Who was your kid? 
This is Ursula. Oh, that explains so much. He's got Ursula's face. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. All right. So... Miss Piggy is self-assured and hates children. Do we like hates children? <gasps> Fearsome, I like that. I like that idea. Uh, athletic out of two. That's odd, but okay. A bodybuilder. So, hates children. Do we like hates children? If we do, then I will lock it in in five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we will lock it in. All right, add birthday candles. And she is now a full fledged mermaid. Where is it at? Oh, it doesn't tell you. Okay, fine. Um, oh my gosh. Does she not look exactly like her mom? Like her donor? Um, and Summer Alley, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lounge, share, and get comfy. Does she not look very similar to her mom if her mom had multicolor hair? I'm going to say yes, she does. Yeah, this is going to haunt my nightmares. This is definitely going to haunt my nightmares. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Well, you know what? Come dream big. Yep, come dream big. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, you're practicing dribbling. All right, you yeah, you do that. You do that. Both of you are just going to dream big cuz I can't be bothered. And she's wearing This this girl confuses me. This one confuses me. Oh my god, guys, I have to save this. Oh no! I need her very playful. Because the wee thing was just so... Oh man, now I'm sad. Because the wee thing down here at the bottom was so, so fantastic. Man, alright. Alright. It's your turn. Come dream big. All right, go go to the bathroom and then do your homework. Sure, why not? And of course we have a screaming baby. Of course we do. She's looking better than Milo, that is true. That is true. She's looking better than Milo. Milo is just Yeah, he need he needs different hair. He needs a different hair. For sure. All right, do two more dream bigs. Yeah, two more dream bigs. And then I'm going to make you use the bathroom and of course Oh, mom's cleaning that. I was going to make him clean it, but okay. If mom wants to clean it, sure, go ahead. She didn't. Kenneth Morales. If you're a young adult, why are you here? You're not one of mine. Uh, 
Mary Ua and Ruby Morales. I think I think this is a great grandchild, not a grandchild. I think this is a either a great grandchild or a, a descendant. Because I don't recognize the name Ruby. Unless anyone else does. Yeah, I don't recognize the name at all. All right. Oh, no. It's the, it's the, it's their birthday. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad, bad, bad. All right. Come here and babble. I'm going to wake you up to come babble here in a second. Because I need you to get to, le to level two and then you can eat. Yeah. So come here. Do this. Get to level two. You can eat. Yeah, so do that. How much food is left? Two left. Oh, this isn't good at all. Give me some chimmy and make another asado. Um, so what do we mean maxed out universe by names? Um, so it, it means that you can only have two names per universe for a kid and two names from that universe for a dad. Um... That just means that we can then have more variety in the universes. So, um, take for example, Marvel. It would have been very easy when we were doing, um, movies to name all the kids as, um, kids from Marvel, but it didn't really promote variety. Um, and this is about learning what your guys' favorite, uh, things are. So that's why I limited it to two kids. Two names for kids and two names for the donors. Because then it allowed for more, more people to submit things and for more variety to come through. And we've had quite a bit of it. We've had quite a bit of variety. So. I can't get over Miss Piggy though. Oh, she needs a lot of stuff. Alright, come here. Come take a shower. Because you desperately need it. Uh, sure. You can like mischief. And grab a serving. Why are there still babies crying? Oh my gosh. Super efficient baby care that baby. Get it to stop crying, please. So, yeah, so I put a limit on for the baby names and for the dads as to how many characters can be used for it. So, um, for example, like for Disney, um, we've already used two names from The Lion King. So, therefore, you can't choose any more names from The Lion King. All right, actually, wake up real quick. And, yes, I, I do. I, I do need to do that real quick. So, give me just one second. We are going to go change Sim because we need to go see what her mermaid tail looks like. So while this is loading, I'm going to do a quick eye break. Shouldn't take me more than a se couple seconds to do that. So one sec, guys. Alrighty. Okay. So. I'm changing his hair. I'm changing his hair. I can't do it with the hair. Okay. So he needs long hair. He needs long hair. I can't, I can't do it with, with that.
Okay, maybe I can't do it with any of these hairs. This one and... Or this one. Is kind of like the least... Bad. It's just that jawline, though, guys. Hang on. Let's give him some facial hair. Let's give him some facial hair. Maybe we can do it with he has some facial hair. No. No, I, I can't. No, not even with the facial hair is that helping. That jawline is just, it's too much. I've actually, this isn't bad. Oh, wait, this is sleep. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Which one says this is the pop horror movie hangout one? Yeah, no, I actually like this one better. I like this one better. It's just that jawline is so pronounced. Oh my god, no. Absolutely not. What is on your... Oh my god. Get rid of... Get rid of the... What? What? Hi, Dave. I How do you fix this? I mean, she looks I I like this part. It's the face. Like I have no qualms about this. Like even the accessories like on the the arms aren't bad. I mean, they'd look better if it was like this. No. Actually, no, I kind of like what we had. I don't mind that it's the... It's the skin details, I think. No. Maybe it's mouth scars, eye scars, cheek scars, brow scars. How did we get this overlay? Maybe it's in her makeup? No. Okay, so it was under face, so I gotta find it under face. Oh wait, now I can't, okay, there it is, okay. So it wasn't brow scars, cheek scars, eye scars, mouth scars, faces, skin tones. It has to be skin details. But it doesn't populate. I don't know. Okay, here's the thing. Do we keep it? Do we keep this? Do we keep the bubbly spatial skin? That's the question. Do we keep the bubble face? Or do we... Because it's only on her face. 
It's nowhere else. You guys are saying keep it? All right. I kind of think if we're going to do that, the hair needs to change a little bit. Maybe. If I can find a better hair of what I'm kind of looking for. No. What I'm thinking of... Wait. No, that's what I was thinking of. No, no, we're keeping the hair. All right, we're just going to take off all the extra glasses and such. Well, all right. All right. And hi, Seno. How are you? It's only when she's a mermaid. Yes. So it's only when she's a mermaid. This is her normally. Which I am going to change her hair because I don't like... I don't like the multicolored, but I don't mind it being up like that. I just need to find it without the multicolor. Is it this? Uh, actually, I don't know if I like it like that up. Maybe this? No. Ah, no. Nope. No. Closer, but no. Okay, I kind of like this on her. I kind of like the sassy um, Penny Pizzazz updo on her. Which I think is this, but I, I, like, the, I like the higher pony on her. I think the higher pony works perfect for her. Cause yeah, that's that's without the bangs, and I don't. I she needs bangs. You're right, she does need bangs. But I kind of really like this look for her. I kind of really like this. Yeah. So, oh god, I mean, I have to change it for every single one. I'm gonna change it for every single one. What the heck? I mean, I don't... Eh, it's a bit of a stretch. It's not bad. You know what? We're, we're, we're moving her out in a day. I'm changing the skirt color, though. It blends into her skin too much. There, that'll work. That'll work. Oh, gosh. I can't, guys. So, if someone wants to do a breed out the weird using Ursula from the 100 baby tag. Yeah. Feel free. Feel free, but then definitely, like, post it and let me see it. Because I would love to see it. That was horrifying. Absolutely horrifying. Mm-mm. Nope. All right, you go to sleep. I I can't with you. You also go to sleep. We're just sending everyone to sleep. Oh, you're working on your project, so we can't send you to sleep. I can assign this bed to you and put you to bed. I can assign this bed to you. And then Perry, we'll, we'll deal with Perry when we can. Yeah, we know where Ursula's jeans all went. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You good? I know, bud. I know. I know. 
All right, come on, come on, Perry. We gotta, we gotta get you going. We gotta get you going. You're almost there. Well, maybe. I guess come assist with the project so he can go to sleep because he needs it. Uh, poor Perry needs everything. Oh, okay. Or he finished his project. So then, Mom, you're pointless. Go to sleep. By the time you got there, he finished it. So, okay. That works for me. Yep, that works. Oh, what was your bed, though? Perry. Oh, there you go. The other kids might mistake the two Ursula twins for the monsters under the bed. Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad. Poor Miss Piggy and poor Milo. That's so sad. That is very sad. Ariana spotlight's fading. I mean, that's fine. Wait, no view. Uh, use the bathroom before you go to sleep. Uh, put in your inventory and then go to sleep? Is that what we're gonna do? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. How did the babies not yeet yet? Um, that's because... Oh, good point. Wait, no, are they supposed to yeet already? Oh, it's Tuesday morning. So they, so yeah, so they still have another full day. Um, while the kids are at school, we will have to get, we will have to, to seduce again. Mm hmm Yeah, we'll have to do that. Yeah, so we get the notification that it's their birthday almost a full 24 hours before they yeet. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's a little bit more. Uh, she's in the third trimester, so she should yeet... Within the, I'd say, I think we got pregnant around 7 p.m. So I think we have a little bit of time. It was almost their birthday, yes. So you get a notification two days before their birthday, and then I believe the day of. Yeah, I believe the day of. All right, super efficient baby care the baby. Grab some food. Don't you start crying yet. All right. Harvest all and tend the garden. We literally just have one. Okay. We have to kick Milo and Miss Piggy out. But we are going to wait till after we have the baby to make sure we have the room. All right, go go take care of your of your needs really quick. Cuz Miss Piggy's ready for school. Yeah, so Miss Piggy's ready as is No Milo is not. All right, Milo, wake up and do your homework. Miss Piggy, did she do her homework? I thought she did. She started it but didn't finish. Okay. Change dirty diaper and bottle feed. Okay. Okay, now we're getting into a little itty bit of stress. Just a little bit. Just a little minuscule tiny bit amount. All right, so we have an air pressure rocketry. And then we also have... I am not taking any chances of kicking either of these out. So you're going to start working carefully, and Milo is going to also start working carefully. You'll get, I'll send her to help whichever one needs it. If she eats, best hope we can get twins out so she doesn't age too much between babies. So I don't want twins. If we get twins again, um, before I have a chance to clear the household down, then that's going to be a... a too much and that'll fill the house so we really have to get these two out we are on the edge right now so we're kind of living dangerously yes. 
They're they're living da we're living very dangerously right now. All right, which uh, which one's gonna finish your homework first? Miss Piggy is. Okay, great, Miss Piggy. All right, so mom come upstairs to help Miss Piggy first. Milo's going down to do this one. Okay. It doesn't matter if um, she gets to scale up to level 3 from this one. Because we're literally just doing it to boost her grades. You're done with work. Yes, Sam. Oh, dear. This is not going to be good. We are cutting it to the wire. Do your extra credit work. I don't think you're going to have time to do anything. Other than your extra credit work and a bit of a game. Yeah, that's fine. We don't need to be sad about that. I am going to remove the celebrity level loss because she didn't care about that. Okay. How you doing? Are you almost done? Alright, so you've helped her. Come help him. Assist with project down here. Alright, acquired the logic skill. Logic skill level 2. Great. Soon as you finish, go to school. No, you do not go a talking to this. Come talk to this. Babble to this. Oi, this is so stressful. I don't like it one little bit. Okay, Milo's responsible. Good, good. I know you're hungry, kid. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Maybe. All right, we don't have time to wait. It's already it's already almost it's already past your time. Go to school. Both of you go to school. Thank you. An unstable Sparky. Welcome on in. How are you? How was stream? What'd you get up to? What did you get up to? We just hit 90 out of 100 kids. And we're desperately trying to get the kids to these two uh, teenagers to age up and out. Because if they don't, I'm sunk. So, welcome on in. How are you? How was stream? You did a lot of Animal Crossing. Nice, nice. I haven't played Animal Crossing in a while. I kind of miss it, but I kind of ran out of, like, creative juju for it. So, uh, and bills. Ew, I didn't want to do bills. Uh, you restarted your island. Ooh, I could never. I could never. I could never. Okay, you can stop with your kid's project. You don't have to finish it for him. I I can't. I can't. Um, fussy juju. No fussy juju. Thank you, though. Um, feels good to restart. I thought about it. And hi, Carpet Tape. How are you? How is your day going? I thought about it, but I have all of my dreamy villagers. Um... And then I have one that's sort of like in limbo because I've kind of like am ambivalent towards her now. Uh, she's just kind of boring to me. But um, I don't want to lose them. So, yeah. And thank you for reminding me to take a drink. All right. We, we are desperately trying to get these kids aged up. And I'm hoping against hope that like Something good happens. Uh, come slide. I need you to just slide, kid. What do you need? Oh, yeah. Go potty more than you need to slide. <laughs> Today's Hunter Baby has just been one stress thing after another. 
It just does not... It, the, the, I said we're going to do this, and the game said bet. And the, so far, the game is winning. Yeah. It took 1,024 tickets to find June. If you do... Yep, 1,024 tickets. Uh, teacher's responsible. Alright, grab some food, because there's not much else we can do at the moment. So, go do that. Thank you! Um, and yes, and that is a clip to, um... That is a link to the clip where we found her. Yep. I may change it back to the actual, like, clip thing. It just told me it was too long of a, of a, of a command, which I thought was weird. But, eh, yeah, we'll try it again. So, yeah, uh, restarting your island is fun, except when you have dreamies, and then you cry. These twi- these kids have been crying nonstop. Stop, and I don't know why. My infants never cry this much. I can get them all over again. I thought about that, but... It was, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I could, if I could go through that again. I don't know if I could. That, it's a really interesting question. There's a really interesting question on if, could I sit through another potential thousand tickets to find June? Well, that's what I did, Fearsome. I was bouncing back and forth, and it just wasn't helping. Oh my god, it's, we're literally marking everything off the bingo today. Um, let's just be friends, King Triton. I... You already gave me a kid and you failed to give me a mermaid kid. It took your your evil sister to give me a mermaid kid. They know I'm almost done, so they're trying to get take, taken away. I agree, Sam. I agree. Oh, true, Fearsome. That is true. Are you done eating or not? Like, are you just staring into space? I think you are. All right, reset you, because I don't know what your deal is. I mean, it, it lasted long enough for the superficient baby care command to reset, but dang. I don't know. I don't know. The good part is this toddler's almost done. The bad part is I don't think our teenagers are going to get out of school. And every day that we... Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I like this. We'll see, though. He's very tense, desperate for fun. Oh yeah, this this going swimmingly. Swimmingly. All right. You know what? Just just send we're going to send mom to bed. Yep, that's what that's what we're going to do is we're going to send mom to bed. Yep. I don't think the I don't think the teenagers are going to make it. If they do, it'll be a miracle. A student? Oh my god. No, all three of them did? Oh my god. <laughs> I've been so stressed. This is why I don't like twins. Ah, 
All right, we're, we're aging them up now before the game says, haha, joke's on you. Blow out candles. I don't even care how gross you are. As long as you are not, like, in a terrible... And I'm selling that. I don't even care. Well, this has been a stressful hundred, baby. All right, guys. Milo has aged up and he is a geek who is a slob and is also calm. Do we like this for him? If we like this for him, then I will go ahead and lock it in in five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we will lock in calm. And then, and then we are getting, we are moving the cursed children out. All right. So he is getting yeeted out to go live with his sister. Actually, we're waiting to yeet him. We're waiting to yeet him. So blow your candles out. We're going to move this in here though. And then I'm going to sell all of these. All right, we're going to age her up because once again, I am blocking it from giving me twins or triplets or any of the above. All right, so she's self-assured, hates children, and is a dog lover? All right. All right, do we like a dog lover for her? If we like dog lover, then I will go ahead and lock it in in five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, I will lock it in. She has a dog? Oh, you're right, she does have a dog. I totally forgot she had one. All right. All right, that'll work. And then Perry is an A student, so we can go age Perry up. Oi. I'm sad, though, because that's a lot of gifts we're going to miss out on. Go have fun. You're having fun. All right. Olaf is just on his own. But Olaf should be able to age up very soon. All right. So Perry has aged up. Perry is perky and a dog lover. Do we like this for Perry? <laughs> he also wants to be a bodybuilder. So, if we like dog lover for Perry the platypus, then I will go ahead and lock it in in. Five. Nope. Fearsome. Dance machine. I could see it. Maybe. Bit of a stretch, but. All right. If we like it, then I will lock it in in five, four, three, two, one. Zero. 
All right, we'll go with Dance Machine. Yeah, you're right. It is very, it is different. And Perry's a redhead. All right. He looks vastly different from his siblings. Vastly different. All right, go do your homework. Go do your homework. Do you have to pee or something? Oh, you do. God. Use the bathroom, take a shower, then go do your homework. Alright, we are going to focus on getting Olaf's skill up. Alright, Olaf, you're almost there. Almost there. Come on, we can do it. We can do a four we can do four back to back birthdays. I know you're tired, but you can do it. I have faith. A perky platypus. Yes, a perky platypus. All right, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91. Come on, you can do it. Uh-oh. All no, we weren't we weren't quick enough. No. <laughs> All right, get your yeets in chat, guys. <sighs> I tried so hard. Oi, all right. You know what? It's, fi it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, so Aurora has aged up. wild and got so far in the end it didn't even matter a hundred percent hundred percent all right if we like wild then i will lock it in in five four three two one zero all right, you guys are giving me a wild toddler. Well, that's interesting. All right, and then for Phineas. Independent. Do we like independent? If we like independent, then I will go ahead and lock it in in five, four, nope, fearsome. Oh, I almost knocked the sticker off. That was for, for wild for fearsome, duck, duck, fussy, son of a biscuit. Sam, charmer. All right, if we like it, then I will lock Charmer in in five, four, three, two, okay, Duck Duck, Inquisitive, Sam, this is the last one, Charmer, all right, Charmer it is. That's a lot of gifts. Oh, and he just got to level three? <gasps> oh, heck yeah. Okay, hurry up. Oh, cannot do this while Phineas is aging up. Candles help. Mom. <laughs> All right, so they're doing this. That's wonderful. Wait, no, no sleep. Play inside, make believe, play inside. Play inside, make believe, play inside. So both of them are going to play in there while we age this one up. <laughs> All right.
And Olaf is aging up to... Another Perky. But Perky kind of fits Olaf. I'm not going to lie. I know we just had it. But it kind of fits Olaf. And hi, Jonah. How are you? How's your day going? All right. Let's do this one. Four. A social butterfly that is Perky. That kind of fits Olaf to a T. But it is up to you guys. If we like it, then I will go ahead and lock it in in five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we will lock it in for Olaf. Okay, well, this has been like. This has been like, oh my gosh, what the heck? All right, assign this bed to Olaf and assign this bed in the middle to Perry. Whew, okay, I can breathe a lot easier now. I'm still stressed. That's a lot, Olaf, how do you know so many people? How does Olaf know so many people? I have so many questions now. I have so many questions now. All right, so here is the dilemma. Here's what we, here's the question. And we need a heart, you need a heart rate monitor for this? Yes. So... Would it be mean of me to make you wait to find out if we're, to find out what the next baby is? Yes. Sam Olaf does not know you. I think Yep, I think that is where we are going to wrap up. For today, let me save this. So, yes, because the next thing we have to do is as soon as we come in on this, then um, we have to go seducing. So we have to be seducing while she goes into labor. Yes, no game crashes. We don't want that. But I did just save it. So I think because Apollo also does need to get his afternoon medicine, um, that now is a good time for us to wrap up. She's going to pop any second. Yes, 100% she's going to pop at any second. It's going to happen. And it's going to be glorious. So... All right, well, thank you guys. Thank you to um, Unstable Sparky for the raid, all the follows today, the gifted subs, the uh, resubs, and the bits. Thank you guys. You guys are very sweet to me. Oh, uh, let's see. So, okay, I know what we're going to do. Uh, when are shells doing the tour day? So, originally, shells are due on Monday. However, I may push that back a week. So I'm considering pushing it back a week. I will let you guys know by tomorrow if we are going to do that or not. So um, as you can see, since we did hit 90 today, uh, that means that we are going to finish this probably in two weeks. Possibly a, two and a half weeks. Um, so I think I may push shells until we're finished with the hundred baby. I don't know. I need to sit and figure out some stuff beforehand. Uh, cause part of that too is also have I had time to do it myself. If I haven't even started it myself, I kind of still feel weird. Like asking you guys to have it completed if I haven't had a chance to complete it myself. So, um, yeah, I will let you guys know on that. It, so I should let you guys know by tomorrow's stream. Tomorrow we are going to be doing elemental legacy. Um, once we do, once we finish 
100 baby. Since I said I am going to take a month off, we're going to go to um, Elemental Legacy probably three times a week. And we are going to go back to Not So Berry. So if you guys are not caught up on the Not So Berry, I would highly... VODs. I would highly recommend you go and check out the VODs channel. Um, we are only a handful of subs over there away from getting a custom URL. Uh, we only need 100 subs to get a custom URL. So if we could get 9 more over there, that would be absolutely amazing. Um, if you are in the Backroom Lounge and there are, um, uh, there's a TikTok you'd like me to do, like, to make for like for the for the TikTok, let me know what what the uh, what your idea is in there, and if I can figure out a way to make it work, I will do my best. Um, I think that's basically it. I don't think I have anything else. So, um, Apollo has his his um vet visit tomorrow. So stream start time is gonna depend on when he's coming home from that. So we don't know how long he'll be there. It could be, if he's gonna be there over an hour, then um, streams will be start time as normal. Um, I may just have to take a, a small break to get him settled in next to me afterwards. So, all right, let's go ahead and grab our raid messages. Um, you haven't been, even been here for any of the not so berry. Yeah. So right now, let me explain the not so berry. We are in the plum gin. Um, Sam is still very upset over the plum gin, but I feel like we let, like, she's gotten her revenge. London has gotten her revenge. London put Casper in a actual dog house. So... Uh, yes, Darla, I put that in my reminders, so, um, but yeah, basically, we are over halfway through with the Plum Gin. I'd say we're actually three quarters of the way through Plum Gin. Um, yeah, London. Yeah, London put, London locked him in a doghouse, and he basically was her servant. Mm-hmm. He basically was her servant. She divorced him and everything, but kept taking his paycheck as as reparations for him marrying her for clout. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, you can't have her back. You can't have her back. We we let her girl boss. We let her take charge. She runs. She calls the shots now. Like he didn't even get to sleep in his own bed that he bought with his money for episodes and episodes. He was in the doghouse and then he was on the couch and then he got back he was able to get back to his bed. So, yeah. But anyway, if you guys would like to create Sims for, like, Not So Berry or, um, if it's Sims for or Not So Berry or the Elemental Legacy, you can always add it to the Townie save. Um, just remember, no modern menswear or journey to bat two. And, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was it was great. Like, guys, go back and watch the Not So Berry. Even if you don't get to watch the whole thing from the beginning, go back and watch the beginning of Plum Gin. Um, and watch the Plum Gin because that's kind of where we'll be picking up. Um, we'll go directly from 100 Baby back into Not So Berry. Um, so definitely you guys are going to want to get caught up on that. She And she literally just slapped it out of his hand. It was amazing. It was amazing. So... But all right, I love you guys. I need to give Apollo his next round of meds. Um, I need to figure out food for me. And yeah, so just go back and look and watch those stuff. Um, even if you just skim through, that's fine. Um, but then I will see you guys all back here tomorrow for some more shenanigans with Aang. Um, we are going to have to double down on getting these aspirations done because his lifespan is almost over and we're nowhere near. So, all right. I love you guys. Let's go grab our raid messages. We're going to go send some love over to Tally. And I will see you guys all back here tomorrow. So, all right. I make no promises. Okay. Love you. Bye.
I'm sorry.